Thanks, thanks, Gale's night, I guess. I can't just go with a basic club, but I need to try and find a replacement pole arm as soon as possible, I think. Because the haste is better than your speed, but it still does haste up enemies. Oh, strength is not bad. All right. Oh, being feel it probably better since you can't uh, chaos stuff. Oh, because you you start with your claws as a feel it, right? Yeah, I guess that's true. Huh? I actually thought of that. So you don't really get a lot of the disadvantage being chaos knight. The only real disadvantage is that you can't have a decent god. Um, and I mean, I guess Zom teleports you around and stuff, which is also a disadvantage. Yara's found I'm rambling, sure. Was Naga the hardest race for me to get a first win on? I feel like it might have been. Uh, I'm just trying to think. I know it also had a problems with a few of the other ones, but I feel like Naga was definitely up there. Because I was not good at dealing with her slow movement speed. Kind of throws out a lot of my normal strategies. Oh, a sky of resistance is nice. Uh oh. I think I just stabbed this guy. It's not great though. Oh, I missed. No, I didn't that was to do four damage, alright. I see. This is just a bad I can deal with those ones. I could probably even do deal with one if it mined itself up or something. Or well, I mined it up, I guess, with the chaos here. Uh, could we give a summoner? I got the start of summoner book. What's my end like? 12? Hmm. Oh, that's a little sad. I don't think I'll worry about the summoning. Summoning with pole arms? I don't know. No, I might just keep with the pole arms. It's actually not a bad choice, though. You totally could pull that off as a turning into a summoner with 12 end. But summoners just always seem to work fairly well. I don't think I can really properly get these guys a choke point. Uh oh. Ouch. Okay, yeah, blew up its mind, thank goodness. Um, I do want to try it whenever, like, Stop flying around over the, all over this level. Okay. Wow, so much chaos everywhere. Chaos on my weapon, chaos on the ground. Uh, what just happened to me? I can exhale a cloud of poison. Body sometimes deteriorates, so I feel really weak. I mean, I guess exhaling a po cloud of poison is not too bad. Um. Oh, that's not it. Or maybe it is it. Yeah, that does something at least. Alright. Where's this good old trident lying around? I think it's up here. Wow, that is absolutely sort of thing, so it doesn't mess anymore, which is kind of nice. Uh, I'm poison resist, right? I hope so, because I would like to kill myself with that poison breath. I probably can't kill the ghost, because that's not going to be affected by the poison. And it's Mango Mango's ghost. A Coglin Hunter? <laughs> I do 9 damage, but I think I'll still leave them. Ah, I don't have an obvious identifier or something. Uh oh. I don't even know if, like, poison works that well on these guys. No. Oh, I hate this. I'm gonna try one of these scrolls, see what I get. Noise, okay. Identify, I can do a potion at least. So I've got a little bit of curing. I might drink one of these curings, but still. Um, what was downstairs? It was like just one dude, right? 
Because I could probably find this random, but I don't think those ones are too bad. Except for the fact it's like healing up fast so I can stab, but there we go. I've gone through all those guys. Yeah, I mean, this guy is someone I can just poison up, which is easy enough to get rid of, right? But the thing that Zom summoned in wasn't so good. At least it wasn't like a fire demon like he did before, right? With one of my previous characters, so it didn't straight up just kill me. Oh, those are normal old boots. Uh, the breath seems to take a while to recharge. I wonder if it's the same as my last breath or whether it's like slightly longer or not. But it definitely seems way better. Oh, I need my breath back. Uh, I'm gonna run away because I reckon there's uh, Robin in with these guys. Probably. Or oh, maybe not. Uh, no, I guess not. I guess it was just a bunch of guys hanging out. That's gonna be so dead, yeah. That boy is absolutely slaughtered, so that's so good. Um, Get a pile driver? Do I own a pile driver? That's the one where you run at someone next to you and you push them around. I mean, it could work. Oh, I've got the identifier you can use on whatever these three are. Immolations. Oh. I don't expect that to poison up a few more of these guys, but that's fine. I'll just bring one of these guys upstairs, I guess. Okay, what's next? I, I might switch gods, I don't know, we'll see. I go to the temple and see what's available. So I've got, I've got a lot of gods available here. I kind of want to be happily aquatic. Yeah, let's do it. Let's be a happily aquatic character. Because then I can have my ancestor at the front with the shield. So I can stand back with a pole of and stab people. At least that's the plan, anyway. <laughs> Failed to breathe this guy. What was the chance of failure? 6%. Huh. Hey, Zom. Oh, I didn't get my breath back. Probably come back soon. There we oh, nope. There we go. If I wasn't recording, I would have just got my uh, color because I reached seventh level. That's my best, uh, well, these chaos knights so far. I think it might be so far. Oh, hey, bees. I'm not too worried about some bees. Oh. Then maybe I should be because I didn't get them all with my poison breath. Ooh, I think this is fine. <laughs> yeah, because they're, they're sitting in the poison, so they're going to die super quick. Ah, uh, potential for fire is fine. What else is... Actually, I don't really need that in a hurry, do I? I mean, I, I know I don't really need it in a hurry because I got the, um... Scarf, right? Yeah, this is a Scarf Resistance character. Spice Light Recharge, Gels Gravot. I've heard good things about Gels Gravot, but I haven't had many characters get it. Why did I shoot the plant? That was a silly auto-target. I think expecting to just go for something a bit like the yoga rather than the plant. Okay, I've got to be really careful with the auto targeting on that one, I guess. I didn't even realize that would go for a plant. It shouldn't, right? Um, I might write a little note, uh, note about this because uh, that does not seem right. Might uh, do a bug report, I think. Uh. Alright, there we go. A little note written down to go uh, see if I can do a bug report for that, because that really doesn't feel right at all. Um, can I bring the guy behind there? I don't think so. I think it goes to the guy out the front. <laughs> Failed the twice in a row to use my ability? Sure. Whoa. Uh, that ice piece is definitely going to be a problem. Can I teleport out of here? Not really. I'm going to try one of these. Oh, an acquirement. So the scarf of resist electric, resist cold, resist poison. That's actually not terrible. I got resist poison. Okay, well, that's definitely something to think about. Okay, that's the teleport scroll. Um, oh no, not this guy again. I just want to get my health back before I find the ice piece. Right, do I want to do this? I mean, I'd probably want to get some fire resist beforehand, right? 
But that could get me over just electric if I got the fire just from somewhere else, which, um... I don't think I'd do that just yet, but it's definitely a, an option. Whoa. Ah. I might queue up the confusion. So I guess the enemies were confused as well, which is something. Um... Okay. Oh. Divine experience lets me confused. The body was ragged with pain. Okay, Zob. Guess uh, Zob is mad about me changing gods, which is fair enough. That's not going to poison this guy up much, unfortunately. Do you have the cold resist? So I'm thinking I'll be fine here. I won't even poison up the net, or it's not like it's really tough enough to have to worry about too much. I probably could have just gone with whatever. Hey, there we go, it's an ancestor. Excellent. And I get to hide in my clouds. Oh, it's the amulet of elemental vulnerability. I don't need the poison. It's actually going to reflect them. I'm just going with the reflection instead. I mean, 8 at this point in the game actually does make a pretty big difference, but... I think I'd rather just have reflection. Uh, well, it's all, like, uh, gods, like, Oakwari, Fantastic. I mean, those are both, like, gods I could totally go with. If I wasn't already here, um, with Happily Kwana. I don't think it's actually how this god's name is meant to be said. I think it's probably, like, Happily Kwana or something. I think, uh, in fact, I think that, like, the god page even tells you, like, how it's meant to be said. Um, it's probably got the full name, let's see. Uh, it's probably Hep two, maybe. Nope, that's a that's a completely different thing. I think it's one of them that like explains how it's meant to be said. Uh oh, this one, yeah. It's Hepli Al Al Kanar or something, Kanar or something, something like that. I don't know. Hepli Agli Quadra, I think that was meant to be said. Uh, poison's going up, it's not going to work very well, because there's so many guys, well, there seems to be so many guys with a poison for this when you have the poison damage, but otherwise you don't really notice exactly how many guys actually have resistances. Um, strength again. I think this character's just going to heavy armor fighter. Ooh, dropped two levels? At least I got my ancestor with me. But, what am I on? Dungeon level 9? I'm not really adequate for doing dungeon level 9. Yeah, speaking of not really being adequate, this guy's got two heads, doesn't it? Could just Ice Blast it. Zob makes a sudden noise. That probably actually made noise as well when the Zob makes a noise. Ooh, wow, there's way upstairs. I should have just taken it. It's fine. I can poison these guys up at least. What's my ancestor doing? Absolutely crazy just running into all that fire, but I guess I survived somehow. Yeah, it's the good thing about the ancestors are like just coming back to life. I might just make them a knight. Yes, yeah, knight them. It is so it's Corver's ghost, Corver the Knight. I gotta I gotta call them Sir Corver. I liked it with my knight ancestors. Uh what are they? Currently neither, right? Oh, wait. Ah, I did that wrong. I meant to... There we go. Circle over. Ah, what am I trying to do? I'm trying to breathe on these guys. I'm just hitting all the wrong keys to do it. Right, well, I'm going to go upstairs. I think I'm finally back to the level that I was meant to be on. 
Um, oh, that equipment I'm still thinking about, right? It's still the fire this that I need to get. I think there was like a ring of fire this for sale or something. But uh, getting, I mean, reduce my vision's not bad either. All right, what skills do I need? Um, invocations maybe, so I can do the trans uh, transference. A little bit of evocations. But I don't really have like a good set of armor yet to use um, or to get some armor skill for, so I'll just go with whatever. So what's this thing? Like, revelations? Oh yeah. I'm gonna get, there we go, yeah, getting dispersed around, oh, confused. <laughs> uh, I don't think I worry too much about this confusion, because I think most of these guys are dead anyway. There we go, it wore off, yeah, it didn't last too long. I did have the curing to cure it up if I needed to, though, um... Let's just see some identify early game. Okay, let's identify up this potion. I'll degeneration. I don't think I've got any, like, massively... Like, don't think I'm that good with, like, identifying my potions at the moment. I've got a light of it, actually. Curing. I guess those are some of the more important ones, so I guess it's not too bad. Alright. I wish that ring costs like 500 gold. It's fairly expensive for a fire resist ring. I'll probably still get it anyway once I get the money. Oh. Uh... How's a lot of these guys? Well, at least two of these guys. Actually, I can fight them because my answers always kill one of them. I was just thinking of like bringing them back to the staircase, but when I saw them just dying like that, I was like, oh, well. There's no reason not to just head on back. Oh, I've got a fire resist, I'll be fine. Okay, it's a steam dragon. Can I grab its armor? Because I don't think my armor is that good. It's plus two leather armor. Actually, that's probably fairly equivalent. Uh, <laughs> good old poison resist. Trying to give poison resist to a naga. Is there any way that a naga can lose their poison resist? Like, if I even if I shapeshift, um... Oh, I feel healthier. What does that mean? Something bad, I think, uh, went away, which is good. I don't actually know exactly what that one does, but I know it doesn't actually quite refer to actual Kelf. Um, it, it, like, uh, it doesn't refer to getting rid of a frail mutation or something. Oh, that's a massive shield. I've currently got 0.8 attack delay. This is probably not going to be worth it right now. 1.2? Actually, that's only 0.3 slower. If I just, like, focus on the shield skill, get, like, 15 of that, I mean, that's probably not a, a bad idea. Then I get two shields, my ancestor up the front with one, and then me with one from behind. That's gonna have to wait, I think, that fiery arrow. Although I do have one fire resist, so if I go around here... Nah, that's actually a bad idea. Never mind, I'm just trying to get the potion, but I'm so slow at moving, it's never gonna work. Uh, I can definitely pause this guy up. Is that Kiorari's for me or something? Oh, the, there we go. Actually, I've got nine Kiorari's. I must have had a ton of those already because I would have already got one of the guy. Uh... Oh, willpower. What about work? I don't even think I need the core resist because I have uh, some of that. So I mean, see that I'll take up the strengths, but like I've already got one core resist. Do I do against all these priests? I'm gonna throw in... Oh, I can't quite. I think I could, like, Ice Blast them or something. Just try and get rid of, like, reduce the number of priests just a little bit. There we go. That's better. Um, obviously some of the Curari on this guy, but my answers is kind of dying. Alright, well, I guess that's fine. <laughs> Ooh, plus two how much? What's mine? Mine's like uh plus zero, right? So that's way better. We're just about to ten armor class, I oh, yeah. Uh
Then a fellow Naga on the Oilers goes. The Naga Air Elementalist of Wujin. Hey, I'm not a Wujin character this time around. Oh, I got an right. They did get the decent spells. 1d30 damage on the shark. I mean, I can't get him to resist electric, but like, that's absolutely terrifying. I don't think I can go in there. They got a spade from a central warrior with them as well, which I could probably deal with, but it's still uh, reasonably tough. Ooh, plate armor. Um, plus 7 plate armor, 5 resistance some willpower. Yes, please. Okay, I gotta save up for that one. And then after I've got that one, I guess I can... Oh, it doesn't really matter. What I get, I, I probably don't need the ring of fire resist quite as much if I've already got fire resist. Alright, uh, Cadets Bay can wait. What else is there? Some couple of potions, those can probably wait. And even some might. Yeah, those all can wait. Oh, the, oh, the heal wounds. I should at least grab all the heal wounds. Get that identified, because that's a really good thing to identify. Keep me alive. Um, the cancellation can probably wait. Tragic can probably wait. Ooh. Oh, of course I gotta wait off the confusion before I bring in my ancestor. Um, I need to identify Revelation. Wait, wait, there was another potion in here as well. And those are good items here. It's a shame I don't really have the money. Uh, can I just get a Curari in there? Alright, I think, I think I'm good now. Ah, uh, there we go. I got the lair. I'll just finish the level and then I'll head on in. But I'm at the right point of the game to be doing the lair. It's more of these demonologists. In fact, there's quite a lot of these. Um, nope, that's not what I want to say. I don't have a teleport yet. Uh oh, have I identified it? Yes, okay. Ah, something like that one. Alright, that's better. Go on with the guy, somebody there, the fire guy with the sun demon would have absolutely slaughtered me though. So I had to do something to get rid of it. Oh, nice, I can idealize my answers, although it's 20 percent failure. Oh, you hate the demonologists so much? Yeah, I mean, usually they're, like, really weak, and then sometimes the they're like, hey, hey, let's just bring out a sun demon. <laughs> I don't know, they, they vary a lot in toughness, um, depending what they decide to bring out. I don't think I've died too many times to them, but it's... Oh, they're top five least enemies, favorite enemies for me. I'm not sure they make it into my top five, but yeah, they're definitely, uh, definitely a little bit painful sometimes. To keep up my willpower. I might drop the elemental vulnerability. I mean, that 8 AC is, like, fine, but... I'm actually doing quite well just with the shield value of the reflection. Ooh. Ooh. How about this? Can I... Blow some of those guys up a little? Got up to me because my ancestors decided to run away. Oh, that's not ideal. I'll try to idealize my ancestor. Whoa, okay. It's gonna be kind of wounded. Um, I might have to do a healing potion, honestly. My ancestors. Oh, thank god. This is actually really bad. Do I have a fear scroll? I do not, okay. Um, good job, a frog, maybe. Forty percent. That's not perfect. I might try one of these scrolls with them to see what I get. Oh, poison. Okay. Ah, uh, but I'm probably gonna do my last healing potion here. 
Troll pause was useful at least. Uh, I can get my staircase, but that did cost a lot going through all those guys. All right. I don't want to flame because I can get rid of the electric eel first. Um, how's my buddy going? I'm like halfway to the harbor, but that might have to unfortunately wait till quite a bit later on. Till like after Dorkish Mines or something, we'll see. Am I killing this guy? I'm like I'm slowly winning, but it's not a great fight. Oh, there's another one. Like, oh no. I thought I might be able to get out before it got to me, but I think I'm just gonna have to charm it. Wait. Oh, Zob got to be inside. No wonder I saw those uh mushrooms appear. I kinda want the the uh, Zob wrath to wear off because I can't quite like my current set of mutations. Even if it is minus strength, at least I have the nice poison breath here, and that seems to be doing quite a lot. Rapid rumble very distant avalanche rocks is no way I make it to that, right? I mean I can try the revelations, but Right. I do have one fire of this, I believe, so maybe. Doable, we'll see. What's that ice guy doing guarding a volcano? I mean, I guess, uh, actually it kind of does make sense for drakes to live on volcanoes, so I guess that's why. Um, oh, it's gone, isn't it? Yep, I'm too slow. Alright, well, that's fine. Hey, Zom is finally mollified, so I don't have to worry about Zomrath anymore doing anything bad to me. I mean, they lock in the minus four strength of the poison clouds, which is kind of nice. Uh, oh, nice, a healing potion, a, a teleport, I've really been uh, feeling like I'm lacking those teleports, so it's good to finally have another one. Hmm, I don't think it's Mark Madness, there's really not much of this level left. Excellent, well, that's, that's only the first level of the lab, it was quite hard for this character to clear out, but hey, I got there in the end. Uh, I can just breathe poison this guy, because it leaves like a cloud on the, on the way over to it. I really should have poisoned that guy, I was kind of pointless because that guy's uh, resistant, I really should. Keep an eye on which ones are resistant and which ones are not resistant here. Um... Uh oh, I lost my ancestor tonight, that's actually really bad. I have to try and charm this guy. Might be able to charm one of the frogs as well. Well, maybe not. Probably fine if I can't charm a frog. Come on, give me an ancestor back. No, unfortunately. Oh, there we go. There's the ancestor. I guess if the poison breath, can it actually mess and then go hit a guy behind or something? Uh oh. What's that putting me? Level 4. Not actually sure if it can. What happens if it messes? It might just blow up where it is anyway. And I don't think the cloud actually can miss, can it? Um, in fact, I might do some revelations to try to get myself off this level. I see that beehive. I want to stick away from that one as best as I can. Okay. Yep, <laughs> that's me going to sleep. Uh, might buff my answers because I think they've got the best chance. Oh, I failed to buff them. Uh, I think they've got the best chance of taking out these sheep, though, at least. Alright, almost made it back to the staircase. Hey, I, no, what, what do you mean? I can't, oh, it's probably trying to go down or something. 
and I finally recovered from my nasty little shaft experience, although I am mined again, which is not good because I just lost my ancestor again. Um. No, it's not working. Oh, I gotta read one of my very few teleport scrolls. I'm not even quite half health to just uh, tab through that guy, unfortunately. Okay. Is this shoals fine? I don't think I can swim, but uh, maybe I'll eventually get some flight. Anyway, I guess I get, um... Fighting, pole arms... I get the invocations up. Oh, I guess I can give a go the invocations. Because at some stage I should get my god abilities going just fine. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of skills that have turned on, but I guess they're all fairly important skills to be getting right now. <sighs> Come on, how's the money going? I still need another 500 gold or so in order to buy the good plate armor. And once I get the good plate armor, it'll probably be fairly important to get some armor skill as well. Man, not that I identify good. I can do that on, uh, well, I've got three of all these potions. Lignification. What how good I am against Sky Shard? Because my ancestor card doesn't have blood, right? So I can sometimes just hide behind my ancestor. Also, I don't know why I'm not curaring this guy. Ah. Of course, it one hit my ancestor, but it's rolling. Because <laughs> it does do like 53 max damage or something while rolling. Oh, wait, that's a trident. Hold up. I shouldn't just be leaving that one on the ground. I should actually be using that one. I should check for more, like, uh, pole arms, I think. The heavy helmet as well, but I'm using a big shield to... The... Yeah, the trident flame makes a ton of sense to be using, though. Uh... Strength makes perfect, so I might keep with the strength instead of trying to get some decks or something. Right, so I've got a choice between the spider's nest and the shoals. Um, I have no particular one that I think of the one that I need to do first just yet. It really does depend what items and stuff I find going on. But probably the shoals. Maybe. I should get the javelins, I should try and get some throwing skills on stage. Um, not immediately though, I'll probably want to get armor, and then after I get armor I'll get the throwing. It would be something that's nice to have in the spines desk, because then you can take out the orb spiders with javelins and stuff. Now that I've actually got some javelins. Oh, the guy's always dead. Probably didn't really need to breathe poison on a bee that was about to fall over anyway. Uh, I like this Malia, which I definitely do need to breathe poison on to make sure I get rid of that one. I think Naga said a reasonable amount of health, so the spider isn't quite as bad for the melee as it is with some other characters. I got a magic potion. Um, I don't think I don't really think I've... Uh, I got some, I guess, ancestor abilities. Yeah, I honestly don't think that's going to be a, uh, anything huge for this character, magic potion. Uh oh, there's Bald Beetle coming along. I want to cure Ari up the... I think I'll do the Boulder Beetle. Probably can't really hit the Malia, can I? So I might just, um... Try stabbing it, but it's not a good chance. Alright, they can do another Curario on the Boulder Beetle. I think this is fine. 
And I should just fall over dead. I can just keep on throwing out Kiraris here for a little while, I think. Oh, hey, Queen Bee. Queen Bee is, I think, vulnerable to poison as well, just like the other bees. Oh, why did I move towards the Death Yak? That was um, silly of me. I'm going to have to idealize my ancestor and keep them alive. I mean, this is probably fine. I guess I couldn't exactly run away from the Death Yak, could I? Because I am a Nargus. I'm kind of slow. Yeah, so that was probably actually the right thing to do with that Death Yak. Ooh, plus one Shame of Poison Resist. Um, I'll see how protective that is. Two more armor class went minus two and a half evasion? I don't need the poison resist, but I guess the strength is something. Oh, it doesn't seem that worthwhile. I might just keep on going downstairs and saving up for that plate armor. Which I am, what, a uh, good 400 gold away from? Whoa, nope. Nope. I need to get out of here. That's uh, definitely nope. There was, uh, those were the death eggs, it was dream shape, it was everything. Uh, probably a few hydrants too, um... Just so having to idealize my answers every turn there, otherwise they died. I didn't really want the hydra next to me. Okay. Back up towards the staircase, I think it's the right thing to do there. Uh, grab the ring of fire, but it's not the best item right now. Um, oh, I guess I can grab it though. Why can I get the, I can get the most poison probably if I put it there. In the most frogs I can. Because this is definitely a character that finds the frogs tough. Whereas I have found other characters that kind of find the frogs weak. And it really seems to base on how much armor class you have. This character's only got 11. So they don't do so well against frogs. Uh oh. Uh oh. I don't want to be marked on this level. That's bad. I have back up towards the staircase. Oh. I thought the staircase. Okay. Can I emulate some dudes? Buff the Ancestor. It's gonna be a lot of fiery explosions here, but uh, can I... I can't get rid of the guy next to me very easily. I guess I just stab it. Okay, I'm gonna buff the Ancestor again. Um, don't like how that Hydra is coming my way. I don't know what I can do to stop that. I guess I can throw some acid at it. A little bit more acid, even. There we go, that's a bit better. Acid's gonna blow up. Oh, they blew up anyway. I did buff them, but it wasn't enough. Seems questionable. I might emulate these guys again. Alright. Can't really get out of the poison guys because of all the fire that's around. But I might be able to blow these guys up some ice to bring out fire, which is kind of funny. Oh, that's not the white right wand. Um I think I can hit both of these. Oh, I can hit both of these guys. Excellent. Um Gotta start the burning again. Again, it's still questionable. Alright, can I, like, I don't think I can charm one of these and send them running away or something, can I? Unfortunately not, I think I just gotta keep it going what I've got. Can I, oh, the ass one does that range, I guess I'll just do Ice Blast this guy. Um, like, oh, the ass of one still does that range. I just Ice Blast this guy again, I guess. Oh. I'm not out of trouble yet, um...
get upstairs. Yeah, that's what happens when you get mics, though, and you pull the entire level. Uh, can identify what have I got? I got two of what of these are brilliance. I got two of what of these are fear. Oh, yeah. So it looks like I got well like the actual foresty forest with like all the beasts and uh Sprigans and all that sort of thing in it, which aren't too bad. And also the Bogards, which can be a problem. So if I get poisoned, yeah, it's not going to survive. Alright, what are these guys got for me? So what of Chub, which is good. Ice Blast is good. That's a Bardish. I probably won't use a Bardish because it's two-handed. I've spent like 15 skill to shields, but hey, I mean, it's an option, right? I was supposed to be buckling now using a tower shield. I might keep with my tower shield. Because Bardish are like the, the high tier two-handed um, pole arms. I haven't found a one, uh, high tier one-handed one yet because that would be a demon trident. But you almost certainly will get one of those in depths, if not earlier. I've okay, had the shoals actually has a decent chance of one of those as well. Alright, how's my money going? Um, like 300 gold trolley. I might try going to the Orkish Mines for a little while. What do you mean already there? Oh, apparently I don't know about it. Let's just go to dodge level 11. Um... Probably on dungeon level 12 or something. Ooh, it's a wave of frost. Ooh, this is... Uh, it's all my three of my staircases. Alright, well, I'll bring the ogre upstairs, the two-handed ogre. I'm gonna have to peek these staircases carefully. I guess, I mean, that's alright. Am I gonna bring up one or two of these guys? No, I brought up most of these guys. And they merged. Oh, they merged again, come on. I always said they go dead as well. I guess I just do another transference, but... Hey, it's beginning to split. Okay, that's better. Um, I guess I'll bring it up to the next group of guys. It's the Sentinels just take care of themselves because they got the reflection on a huge amount of shield value. Anyway, I should probably be magic map because I believe I've got one of those. So I can probably just find out where the portal is. Oh, there's another requirement on this level. Um, quite a scarf, but I won't wear it just yet. Just so I can see what this requirement has. So we've got an Owl of Faith. Oh, it's a Demon Trident. Oh, man, you're dodging. I mean, I gotta go with the Demon Trident of Venom. It's even plus four to start with. So, like, that's really good. Mine's uh, flaming, but I'll just drop this and grab the Demon Trident. There we go, end game weapon acquired. Um, I cannot enchant it just yet, but it does start at plus four at least. And I can probably drop, oh, lots of things. Spirit Guardian, Dex, Chainmail wasn't that good. Noise is not that important. All right, they'll do. Um, let's see what this is, silence, oh yeah. Oh wait, Magic Mapping as well is meant to be reading. See where the portal is. Is it all the way up here? There's some sort of portal up there. No, the ice cave's down here. That's obviously the ice cave. And I've got, I've got the, ooh, that's not right. Oh, no, it's all the way around. Okay, sure. It looked a lot closer than it actually was, but there's no shortcuts this time around. All right, uh... Check for cold resist rings, I don't seem to have any. Oh wait, I do. Probably take off like the willpower or something once I get in. Um, might just go in first though. Just so it doesn't collapse on me while I'm trying to go in or something. All right, I don't think I need a willpower in here.
Oh, poor Ancestors has not survived. Do they? They do have one cold resist, so at least I at least I have some cold resist on my ancestor. Even if it's not quite enough to keep them alive, it uh, certainly helps. Hey, Tauchin cold resist. Now that's what I'm talking about. Let's put that one on. Right, so I'm up to three cold resist, and uh, yeah, I mean, this is probably my end game shield. Because I just get really lucky and find a shield resistance or something. This is uh, this is pretty amazing. Imagine it's probably going to be, I don't know, maybe a frost giant or something. There's usually something tough at the end of one of these ice caves. Oh, it's a demon trying to freeze but I, I kind of acquired a demon trying to already. But I guess I can put on the gloves. What am I missing in terms of armor? I'm missing barding. Oh, yeah, but barding's pretty rare. So no surprises with that one. I don't think I got the snake pits either. Um, no, I got spider nest. All right. I think it's a snake pit, so it's more likely to have barding, because you get bash near and stuff sometimes, and she can have barding. Um, I feel like there's someone else who can have barding. Nezos, but he's just uh, generally around, I think. Whoa. I almost straight up killed my ancestor. Yeah, this is a better spot, because only one thing can attack. Oh. Uh, only one thing you can attack my ancestor. Oh, come on, ancestor. What are you oh, they died. That was silly of them. They they had every chance there to run back into a good spot, but they didn't for whatever reason. What is my cloak? I still got the scarf resistance right. So if I ever get a ton of fire resistance, which sounds unlikely, I can probably change those. I don't need the glaive. I don't really need the leather arm cold resist. I don't need the large tag. I don't need the hand axe. Right, well, I'm probably done here. Yeah, it looks like I'm done here. That was very worthwhile, though, because I got a big shield out of it. Uh, probably don't need the cloak. It's slightly more pertaining to the sky from distance, but I also like lose the fire resist, so it's not really worth it. Um, I have too many priests. Hang back a little bit. Try and get some health back. It looks like my answer has got the basic orcs under control as well. There's really not a lot for me to do until I got my health back. Uh, and I do want to go to the orcish mines because I was pretty close to the money, right? Yeah, in fact, I'm like three gold short of being able to buy the... um. I'm trying to armor, I think I'll ignore. Three gold short to be able to buy that. Uh, armor. Death door, Bojo's Revocation, Haunt, okay. What is armor to get? I always forget. It's a Hellfire Mortar, Crystal Spear, Animate Armor, Stone Arrow. Right, the Hellfire Mortar is the new one that I still have managed to try out. Servitor, Orb Destruction, Blaze Heart, Golem. Oh, yeah. I don't think I really care about those books. And some say they want to do a Hellfire Mortar. I'm going to have to think of some sort of fire carriage to do. Wait, I need to do mines for a little bit. But three gold, there we go. That does the trick. Um, Let's get some armor skill. Let's get like 12 armor skill or something. Alright, so I've got 14 armor class. Let's actually check this. So I gain 9 armor class, lose 3 evasion, but I get a willpower fire of this, which is fairly important. Um, I was also going to put on the scarf, a little bit of shadows, there we go, so, I kind of don't really need cold resist, but that gives me a resist electric, that looks pretty good, let's go back to the orcish mines, actually explore this for a little bit. Uh, oh, level 15, I get some strength. Should be strong enough to wear, like, gold dragon armor or crystal plate armor when I get it. Which I imagine will be uh, some way off. I mean, it was an opportunity in that uh, ice cave. Some of those have crystal plate armor. So, uh, more than one guy here is probably fine, though. I like that trident of distortion. I might just buff up my ancestor. Can unfortunately hit through my ancestor, but hey, it died anyway, so that's good. 
there are things on sale that I want to like go buy. I mean, there's more healing potions, more revelations, more might, more identify. Nothing massively I want to buy right now. I think there was a condenser vein as well. To be pretty sick going back around this corner. It's a great spot to be because my answers can be out the front while I just sit back and beat up all the things one at a time. Uh, is that manual something good? It's a manual of invocations, actually. I can use invocations. Yeah, it's, uh, that was pretty useful for most characters. I mean, occasionally you'll go with, like, I don't know. I think my last character got, like, what was my last character's god? Ah, uh, the one that lets you do Wujia, that's it. The one that does martial arts. Got some chatter? What is this? Double sword is all I need. Magic regen emblem with three decks for strength. I don't really have a use for my magic regen. I'll just keep the reflection on. But. That's potentially some money if I need it, right? There was nothing actually useful on this. I don't need to stop death. That's only like 480 gold, but it could be useful. Whoa. What is that? Is that a full on like Gilead? It was like Badish. Badish, yeah. It's a full size one. Um, I might just try and pick off some of these orcs. Oh, wait, is this my only staircase? Well, I guess I'm just going straight back down here then. So I'm also probably not going to move up to the staircase, um, which is alright. Oh, there it goes. Okay, well, it did eventually move up, I guess. Um, and again, I don't need the Bardiche. In fact, I don't even think that's the best Bardiche I've seen. Pretty sure the other one was like at least plus three and maybe even had a brand. All right, what's the shop trying to sell me? It's trying to sell me more bugs. I don't know. Well, <laughs> there's books of burglary, grand grimoire. I mean, that's something again. What is this one here, though? Spell for stuff, George? Sure. I don't know, maybe late game we get like a manifold and soul something, who knows? Or even a dispersal. I mean, if you're getting manifold and soul, you might as well get dispersal to go with it. The orcs would be like cooking up some rats and like hanging some rats out to make food because you can see the food there. I mean, I guess the rats would kind of be a uh, thing that you could eat, but you'd have to make sure they were good health, right? Because uh, you wouldn't want them to be a diseased rat or something. I mean, I guess it's like that with any sort of livestock. If you want to eat it, you've got to make sure it's in good health and not uh, covered in diseases. Brown whip, I've got venom. Um, I'm fine with venom for quite some time now. And yeah, there's also... Fear, there's lots of stuff here, something. I'll see what else is available. I don't think I'll rebrand to like, I don't know, depths or something. I do find like the that doesn't quite keep up late game this brand. Um well, am I hitting the right guy? I hope so. But it's actually a like early game, it's probably one of the most lethal brands in the game. Especially against like the player character. Alright. Ah, wait, man, this is a diet. Um, oh, hold on, let's step back. If I step back, I can just step... Oh, it stepped up again. I'm going to breathe some poison on these guys. Um, and then get them with some acid, I think. I'm glad my poison breath is so, like, actually useful. Because sometimes the breaths uh, fall off a little bit, but no, it seems to definitely be keeping up. Because uh, poison things is pretty much always useful. That's something I probably should have been doing a bit more. 
Right, they don't care about scimitars, don't care about modding stars, don't care about short bows. There's another short bow? Nah. Um, plus two gloves? I think gloves are a thing I've got. Plus four scale bell? No, those are, those, nah, those are like competing with what I've got, unfortunately. Oh, that's my last staircase up. But weirdly, this level, like, I got a really big error on the first level, and I was like, oh, I've probably done the whole thing. I was like, no, actually, there's, uh, they're all little tiny separate beds. Like, three separate staircases going down. Is there manuals here? Oh, manual of armor. Yes, please. What was I after the title? It's a pole arm one this time around. I do, um, I'm going to get, like, an armor title at some stage on a different character. It was a troll I had to get an armor title on. Not this character, I do believe. Oh, hey, Nezzles. Nezzles isn't going to live very long because I reflected back in one of his arrows at him. Yeah, he's dead. All right. I mean, I do have 24 shield values, so I'm really good at reflecting things back. Um, how am I going with the teleports these days? Down to three. I just buy some. I might grab the fog as well. In fact, uh, I might grab the fear, but there was some... Oh, I might grab the identifiers as well. Actually. There was something that I needed to go buy, I think. Okay, I've got some amnesia. I've got some haste. Wait, that was going to be the amnesia. Ambrosia. Yeah, I was thinking, like, a potion got me of amnesia, but, um, there was something... Something, I think. So, like, some unidentified stuff that I wanted to go grab. I grabbed the brand weapon as well, because it identifies it. Uh, no, I wouldn't grab the amnesia. It would identify it, but I don't think it's worthwhile. Alright, what have we got here? We've got some... Oh, there's the amnesia. Alright, well, I guess I can drop that one. Um... Healing potion sounds fine. I think I need to bring the uh, when it was back when it was unidentified. Yeah, I'll come back for some more stuff later on, but for now I'll just go down to dungeon level 13. I'll try and merge up again. There we go, splitting up. Uh, don't think my answer's got a reflection shield yet, right? I think they get one later on. I mean, I'm. Always had one. Wow. Always had the amulet of reflection. My shield's not reflection. Uh. Oh, it's not perfect, but. Okay, good. They split a little bit. Right, dungeon level 12. So I got two more levels of the dungeon. They're gonna see if I can get some flight. Got a ring of flight? Oh, is that Barding from Nezos? Hey, Nezos didn't have Barding. He's got his flame with Longbow, which I don't really care about, but I'll definitely take the Barding. Here you go, 33 armor class. I lost my last little bit of evasion. Ah, I don't know. I'll bring my answers back before I fight these guys. I should be able to stab, there we go, stab the right guy. And at least this character is less likely to burn. I had a character today that burned to death, but this character is less likely to burn to death because at least they do have some uh, fire resist. Ooh, identify. I've got a good tons of things. I got two of these. Two enchant weapons. Hey, I can go read those. I can bring this on to a plus six demon trident. That is exactly what I want to see. Um. Fly instead of. I'm oh, so worried, protection cold. Oh, well, that was probably completely unnecessary. That was from when I was doing the ice cave. And probably the thing I should be wearing is a uh, well powered imagine. All right. Uh, level 16, I feel agile. I mean, it helps my shield. It's fine. In fact, I think I got an evasion out of getting that extra agility. 
Yeah, he was pretty much everything apart from intelligence, I think, with this character. That's kind of how you want to be using a lot of sets so you can kind of just make use of whatever you can. It's kind of fine. Uh, hey, Hydra. This might just finally get the flaming broad axe and dirt, yeah. Invasion will be speed, but that's like quite a lot, uh, long way further. So you can get through things like, uh, swamp and stuff with, uh, not I've got swamp, but you can get through it with the uh, flaming axe with the Hepler Aquata. So their weapons are like timed to actually work really nicely, which is kind of good. So you never feel like your ancestors is kind of a burden giving Hydras a head when you don't want them to have heads or something. That's really nice though. Oh. I do against Agnes. I might just buff my ancestor. She has poison, but I keep, I'm trying to keep my ancestors alive. Oh, ancestors died anyway. Um, I got Ice Blaster, but I'm not sure that does that much. Actually, that might work. Because he relies mainly on evasion. Yeah, so it did do the trick. Not the answer to move out the front. Oh, whoops. I accidentally swapped places with the end there and put myself out the front, which is not at all correct. Uh, I don't think you can ever get an answer to a pole arm, can you? I think there used to be options where you'd uh, kind of have choices of weapons, more choices of weapons than your ancestor. Oh, did I fail to buff them? Huh. But I don't really remember what Hepley Aquatic was like back then, like whether they were any good or not. This was just money, right? Yeah, the first requirement was just money. I found a lot of requirements in this game. Oh, manual pull-ons is good. Oh, plus four barding of willpower, regen, minus five in the sea invisible. I mean, I gotta go with that barding of the garden, right? It's plus four already. It gives willpower and regen, which is really good. I mean, minus is whatever. Sea invisible is pretty good. Yeah, let's get that. Alright, well, don't have to worry about charging my barding now. Got seven, which is fine. That's, yeah, that's enough. I got Tommage. Tommage really doesn't need that. Vulnerability is probably more useful. Is it though? It's charming. Huh. I don't want to get it. I want to get a little bit more implications. I'll bring it up to like 10. But I'm probably just mainly needing the um, fighting and pole ups right now. Oh, I'll get throwing next, I guess. I do have to get throwing at some stage, though, because I probably... Probably gonna start with the spider's nest, see how that one goes. Uh... Yep. Can I bring the puzzle on myself? Yeah, I can. Good. I think I actually damaged myself slightly with it, but it, uh, it did poison everyone up around me, which is exactly what I was trying to do. Oh. Oh, did he even follow me? Wait, did that orb spider? No, it didn't blow up the moth uh, spike once. It'd be really funny if it did. The orbital destruction was definitely curving in that direction. Uh, can I just poison up? Can't do it right now, but can I just poison this guy up? I don't know where it went, but presumably it died from the poison or something. Okay, yeah, so I got uh, Magnum Vault. I didn't get a character that was using that. I think it was some sort of Deep Elf. And it was seemed pretty effective on a Deep Elf, but uh, Deep Elf might be fairly biased in how effective something is because they are really good at getting their spell power up. I know some spells work a lot better when you actually have the spell power ones. Other ones can be fine without much. I'll oh, buff my ancestor, I guess. I'm smudging with Kirk around. Um, let's try and corrode her up a little bit. There we go, I think Kirk's dead. I 
That's my possibility. That's what we don't have. Because there are the, well, the Jaro Gummos, I think, in here that do the draining damage. I probably won't need the ring for this negative, but I keep it around in case there's a Jaro Gummo bashing me up. Um, ooh. Okay. Ah, oh, the Moth of Wrath can be along. Uh, not a Moth of Wrath, a Moth of, uh, the other one. Moth of Annoyingness. Uh, I might go invisible. One of these with a Ghost Moth. I'm gonna buff up my ancestor. Um. There we go. This wanted magic for like buffing up my ancestor, which is why I went invisible, because so the moth couldn't drain it anymore. But yeah, there's definitely gonna be my least favorite enemy in this game, is absolutely draining your magic points unless you can go invisible. At least they can't see invisible. At least they got like one weakness, but they don't have a lot of the way of weaknesses. Whoa, who's that? Hellfire Mortar, okay. Wiglaf, the Gutter Dwarf. Um, that's new, but also kind of old. Wiglaf was like a kind of fancy hat that used to exist, right? A cantankerous dwarf wearing a stupid looking hat. He eyes you sourly, as if deciding exactly how much offense you should take to the way you're staring at him. Oh wow, okay, he hasn't been in this game for like, ages. Uh oh. I'm getting blown up here. Um... I'm trying to zap with some acid. I don't know, I might need to teleport out, we'll see. Can I turn... This guy into a friend? No, I cannot. I definitely can't turn Wiglaf into a friend. Um... Fine. I think I do start the teleport. Because there's just too many guys around. Oh, he's kind of wounded, but I don't think he's going to die. Nah, he's almost dead. Uh-huh. I mean, that's about how I expected that to go. <laughs> to be perfectly honest. Um, it's all just trivial things they could just... Stab my way through. This is maybe a little bit less trivial. Um, okay. As this is back, um, what's my plan for like splitting Wiglaf up from all those uh, guys he's got with him? I mean, they're not even like part of his band. He just happened to have them with him. But I actually haven't met all the uniques that exist in the game. Oh, that. Hold up, there's Wiglaf's fancy little hat on the ground. He must have just died from poison. It's plus four, I can actually probably wear that. <laughs> as it turns out, intelligence is fine, I guess. 40 AC, is that the same as what I had before? It probably is. But, sure, I'll wear his fancy little hat. It gives intelligence. It's worthwhile, I guess. Pauses do good. There was something I wanted to trade. It was like throwing or something. I might just get uh, 12 throwing. I haven't been having too many problems with the orb spiders, because for one thing I've got a flash, and for another thing I've got an ancestor to hunt them down, and for another thing I can breathe poison on them, so like, overall it's not too bad. Come on, give me an ancestor back. Kind of funny how the ancestor often like appears one space away from me, so I don't wait for it to get up to me before I go down the staircase. I guess it follows like the novel summoning rules. Oh, okay, I'm on level three in spider nest. It's not as bad as being like shafted down to level four or something. Uh I don't think I wanna okay. Drop one of these strengths. So we've got a ring of tension here. I'm wearing willpower and I'm wearing strengths. So I'm currently doing 31 damage. I'm gonna try on the potential instead of the Dreads. I lose three damage. Um, I don't know. I kind of just want to be really tanky. I think. It's kind of just kind of like the definition of tanky almost, with the ancestor of the front tanking for them. I've got a big shield. Got good armor class. Yeah, I mean, I've got everything going for me when it comes to tanking. I mean, Naga's, like, late game, they get pretty good at tanking. 
Because they got they kind of got to be because they can't really run away from everything with this slow move speed, right? But uh... oh, this, uh, why is this way up on the explore? I guess I'll take it see where it leads. Oh. Right, right, because I got shafted, didn't I? So that makes sense. Um... Uh, I could just peek upstairs, but I think I finished the level above. Good, so it was this level where I got chopped. I didn't get chopped down too far in that case then. I wonder whether Wiglaf always has not effect hat. I mean, it's quite likely if he has like, because it's. I think he got described as having a stupid looking hat, right? It's probably always some sort of artifact. Um, that area of tons of water, like up here, there might be a staircase in the middle of it. There's often areas with like lots of water and a staircase in the middle in the spider's nest. Probably doesn't matter. I could probably just leave it. I can also do flying if I wanted to, but I don't think I need to. To try and wait for my answers to heal up. Because uh, apparently I seem to be... Well, I guess I wasn't really wounded on those fights, so I was uh, healing up faster than my ancestor. That's one way of just turning on these spiders and the uh, uh, into simulacrums. You just breathe on them again. Because they all... Uh, well, not all of them, but most of them are vulnerable to poison. So it's super effective getting them in a cloud of it. Uh, what about these? Are these resistant to ghost moss? They are, right. Excellent. Just, uh, I don't know. I guess I'll explore with this water. I've got the got the flight. Might as well do it. So, yes. Oh, okay, it's not even a snake. It's this time around. Just a dead end. I'll put the willpower back on. I don't think there's a huge number of spiders that target the willpower, but I think sometimes there can be some things. Also, many of the uniques in here that target the willpower. I'm trying to think. I don't think there's much in here that targets willpower. All right, well, let's go downstairs. I <laughs> reflect the orbital strike and it hit a wall, unfortunately. Well, probably fine. I don't think there were any enemies for it to hit. But I do think that the choice of doing the spine this first this time round was uh, probably a good idea. You often end up doing it as my second branch, but this character seems competent enough to do the spider nest. And I got all the resists I could possibly need for doing the spider's nest. And this tends to be one of the branches that are more heavy on the resist. Because you could definitely get a lot of poison in here. Got spark balls with a bit of electric damage. I feel like there's other things. There's fire damage with like the sun moths and stuff. Yeah, there's definitely... Oh, one of these guys. All right. Uh, I don't care about ring me off minus teleport. I, no, that would not be a good idea. Thirty of the, especially without like how good my plate armor is right now, would lose so much defense putting that on. I got kind of pretty lucky with items. I think this time round, like I've already got a demon trident. Oh, I can even charge it up in mod plus seven. I got some really good barding because that's giving me regen, which I didn't have regen for ages with this character. Because I never felt like an amulet of regen. Oof. I almost got the answers. I'm buffing up. Okay, it's more stuff. Right, why can I see invisible? Is that just a natural naga thing? I don't know if it is. Don't think it is. It's my, no, it's my body as well. It's giving me the see invisible. I mean, that body just kind of does everything. Uh, 
Uh, oh, I do want to dig it. I could probably drop the helmet. I don't know, the, the attach, whatever it is called, the on you leaser. The red attachy is probably better. I don't need the cold resist. I got so much of that. Oh, I could go use the identifier or something, maybe? No, I don't have nothing to read it on. I could do a drop down amnesia. That would probably work. Uh, there we go. I'll clear out a little bit of inventory space. I do want my ancestor alive. In fact, I also want to spit some poison at this guy. Okay, I think my ancestors are enough here. I should be able to take care of the other guys. What do I want? Invocation is actually fine where it is. Um... I gotta get some more fighting and some more pole arms. I think some more armor. We're just gonna get like a bunch of stuff. Um, uh, maybe some more shields as well. I just gotta get everything up. But it's not gonna be hard for this character to get titles because I'm just going for the pole arm title. Should be easy enough. Oh yeah, another scarf of resistance. Well, I mean, so like it with the scarves this game. It's like all resistance basically. I mean, I think I did see a few other ones, but not a lot. Um. Do I take off the protection or the willpower? I think I take off the protection and go to the shoals. Because there's tons of guys in the shoals that target the willpower, right? Like there's uh the guys that will try to do the do the sirens and stuff. Oh wait. I don't even need willpower. Apparently I got some of that already. I got some of my armor. Got some of my barding. Huh. I guess I can put the protection back on then if I really don't need it. I uh, need the willpower. But I can probably even drop that willpower rig. Oh, and I think Naga's like, uh, willpower gain or level up's also reasonably decent as well. So yeah, everything kind of works, works well to give me lots of willpower. And hopefully I can get some javelins and boomerangs and stuff in here. Oh, Louise, I have willpower, right? So I won't be banished. Yeah, she's not too bad at all. When she can't banish you, that's one of her main tricks is turning up early on and sending you to the abyss. I mean, she can also zap you with electricity, but I've got resistance to that. Um, I think I'm zapping people with electricity. There's a lightning rod here. I might go grab it. It's kind of vaguely like an AOE that this character can use. Oh, don't have anything to identify yet? Of course not. Uh, almost maxed out my demon try Just one more scroll to go and I should be maxed out. Which I can definitely get in the Elven Halls if I don't find it earlier. But there's always the Hall of Blades that you can do for that sort of thing. I really love how the Hall of Blades gives the enchant weapons now. So it actually gives a lot more reason for characters that use weapons to actually do it. That was good old Dragon's Call. I mean, this character totally could have become a summoner early on if I wanted to switch when I found that early summoning book. Because I've seen uh, another one, I think a book with like some horrible things and stuff, so I kind of got all the spells. Oh, really? Oh, I guess it's time to set the sky on fire. So mainly just trying to block it uh, with some clouds, but I guess it killed it. Hey, there we go. Last uh, chart weapon. Oh, even one extra chart weapon. Okay, so I want to chart up like a secondary weapon or something. Well, I killed the guy water. Which means I lost my trident, uh, my uh, javelin swifts. That's not what I meant to do. Uh, I'll just be leaving the boomerangs around on the floor, which is not right. Yeah, what can I drop? I should draw the enchant weapon. I'll keep the brown weapon for now, but all right. This isn't too bad. Most of these guys are going to petrify sooner or later. Definitely on more of the sooner side rather than the later side. All right. Yeah, this is, I guess I'll chase after these guys and find them. Instead of trying to heal up on the other side there.
Hey, fairly mob boob rigs. Um, I should be older exploring should pick up any of the other ones that are on the floor as well. That I do know about, although it looks like it's more interesting than actually exploring the level than it is uh, going to the areas I've already been and pick up the loot. Although, I'm about to go to the previous level of the shoals as well to grab some of the boob rigs. Um, what's this? Not quite it. I'm trying to find... Is that a level 12? Mm, oh, okay. Uh, oh, no, more of them in Orkish mines. Alright. There we go, that does the trick. When I this boom rate they got, I managed to get 14 boom rates and, uh... Six javelins. I think I just found that one pile of javelins together. Hey, this guy's got some more javelins. Whoa. That's a lot of dudes. I might just poison them up, but then what? I buffed the answer, so. Hey, that might work. There we go. It'll be on the roads, no problem. Uh, I should get some health banking as well. I don't think that statue is a problem because it can't actually get to me. There we go. I should be getting a ton of javelins here. Although there might be some guys with silver javelins as well. I should quickly check for throwing things again. Yeah, there are silver javelins. Alright. This is where my inventory starts becoming a problem with all the various kinds of javelins and stuff. Usually I drop the one of flame, but I usually do that after. I might just drop... Uh, I might go with rebrand right now. See what I get. Spectral? Oh, yeah, I'm happy with Spectral. But I'm um, uh, more than happy with Spectral. That was usually pretty good. Drop the branding. I'll oh, keep the identify, I guess. How, what have I actually got to identify? Spares resistance? I mean, I could probably just drop it if I need to make some more room. Um... No, Spectral's always a bunch of fun. Whoa, that's a lot of javelin ears. Especially for the pole up, because, like, uh, you can just kind of sit back and it works anyway. For the pole up. Because they will either they will appear behind you or in front of you or something. Um, actually, I guess it's, it's a bit more limited with my ancestors because my ancestors would also take up one of the spots around me. Oh, whose ghost is this? We've got a Reki Usopp's ghost. A Minotaur Gladiator? They don't do that much. Yeah, they're really not that tough. Okay. Uh, I like this vault here, which looks like it's got all sorts of nasty stuff. I can't see the ghost, though. That might not be a ghost vault. Might just be a nasty creature vault, which they do exist. They're just a lot more rare than your average ghost vault, though, I think. Oh, who's shooting my guy? Is that a javelin near? That's really funny. A javelin... Oh, wow. I've got 15 silver javelins. A javelin here with like an obelisk. That's not something I was expecting to see today. No, because they usually just throw the javelins. In fact, they're probably less effective with the obelisk than they are with throwing their javelins. Especially since the obelisk was like checking my shield and everything. I should probably go up. Or take too much damage. Yeah, that's probably not the best staircase to be down. I should have maybe gone up just a couple of turns earlier, maybe. That was fine. Whoa. There are lots of guys. Um, I should die any second now. There we go. Hey, so my answer is to finally got a tower shield. It does. It's got a tower shield and reflection. So we both got really big shields and we're both reflecting. Uh, I don't think it helps with the javelins, but it helps with everything else. What's this dude's trident? Hey, it's Vampiric Demon Trident. I'm okay with my spectral, but Vampire is definitely quite fun, because that can make you really tanky as well. I don't care about a room of clouds. It's a, unfortunately just a robe.
Man, those are just little squid guys, the Krakens, need to do a better job of moving up so they bring out their ink. Because you still know, like, exactly where they are. Or maybe they need to trigger some regen or something else they bring out their ink. They need to do something, though. Otherwise, they just kind of sit there until you go back and finish them off. Yeah, this is not wounding me too much. This is fine. Almost looks like it could have the rune. Yeah, it does have the rune. If it had enough guys guarding it, then it could definitely be the rune. It's good that I didn't struggle at all with the rune one, because the, the other ones are probably just going to be easier. Oh, a gravitambrine. I do want a gravitambrine. I'll drop the strength. I could probably drop the positive energy next. Uh, I think there's a few other things they could drop, but mm, I don't need the magical power. Thankfully. How do I get this guy to... I don't think I can get this guy to move out of the water, unfortunately, which means I lose any javelins that I have on it. With the basic merfolk, you can sometimes pull them out of the water, but it's really hard to, like, because the ones with the actual range stuff that you want to pull out, they're also the ones that are, like, harder to pull out because they'll sit back and just keep on attacking you. Uh, I'll just plus two play number, call resist. I think my play number is, like, plus seven or something. Oh, hey, Donald. Kind of appropriate for Donald to be in here because he does like swim and stuff and breathe the water and that sort of thing. He's kind of like a duck. What's my ancestors doing there? Oh well, it doesn't matter. I think they got trapped behind me and they didn't know how to progress, unfortunately. Wait, do I really have no nets on me? I guess I'll drop the pulse energy. Let's get the net. So I think the first one I found, because usually there's tons of those, uh, especially in the shoals and stuff. All right, well, I guess um, there's only really bolts left to go. I've got the willpower I need. I've got the resistance electric I need. I've got the physical defense I think I need. Oh, whoops. Rah, wrong thing again. Got the cold resistance I need. Yeah, I've got the resistance. i got everything. Um, in theory, I shouldn't have any problems in here. I don't think I care about the glowing helmet, do I? Got the plus four hat of intelligence. No, I probably don't care about that helmet. How many demon drones have been there been this game? Wow, I mean, it's a good thing I'm using pole arms because there's been... One, three, four demon tridents. I got one reasonably early as well. I think it might even still be in the lair or something when I got one. Uh-oh. I don't know if I can stop this guy recalling. Ah, whatever. I just stab it. Hope for the best. Yeah, recalled. Whoa. Okay. Um, I'll maybe crush these guys with Gravitambrine, I think. Fortunately, they are faster than me, so I'll have to hit them with something. There we go. How many teleports have I got? I think I've been building them up. I've got them up to nine, which I guess is fine. Because I know the bolts seem up to like, get trapped in rooms by the... What's they called? The ironbound something? These guys. Vault ones. That's what they're called. They're not ironbound things. They kind of look like it. And then once you get trapped in the room, you basically just have to teleport out because of, there's too many creatures and therefore you'd find you don't have a choke point. Not often it happens. I mean, it doesn't always happen. I don't think it causes you to teleport. I guess the guy's going to recall into him when you're already kind of exhausted from a fight that you've already been in. That's definitely going to recall. I might just step back a little bit. Wait, just, uh, sometimes those guys, it just kind of makes it more sense to 
find a choke point, but once they start recalling, there's not a lot else you can do. It depends on the character. If you go Quicksilver, you can totally stop them recalling by zapping them with a the Quicksilver, but a lot of characters really can't, can't stop them recalling, no matter what you do. Oh, I do want my Sanguine Spiders. It's, I don't find it the most useful, evocable. I mean, it's alright, but I'll try to want the flame, I guess. I just feel like the spiders, they kind of die rather easily, even once you've got a little bit of evocation skill. Maybe I just never have enough to make the spiders good or something, but I never feel like the spiders are that good that you get out of it. Uh, how's my evocation? Oh, it's just sitting on five. I have a lot of skills I'm working on right now, so they're not exactly making fast progress. Yeah, because I'm just kind of bringing every single one of my melee skills up to an entire level. I think, whoa, I buffered my ancestor. Okay, that's fine. Just seeing like a, a, a what is it, an Etta next to you, knowing how much damage they can do is a little scary. Ooh, hey. Hey, it's finally the, finally the thing for me to identify. A potion of resistance. That means they can finally drop my identify scrolls. I mean, lagging around this entire time. Uh, it's kind of recall, isn't it? I might be able to zap it with something and stop it recalling. I don't know if this will do the trick, but I'll try a lightning. I think it might have worked. Ah. Might have to teleport out. Um, yeah, I think I might start a teleport. I lost my answers, and that guy's doing its recall and stuff. Alright, there we go. Ancestors is back. Where's Saint Roke? God, I should be fine killing um, them. Yeah, but they don't have, a, don't have an entire army of guys getting recalled around them. It's so much easier. Alright, well, uh, that's level 2 of the vault, so I guess I just keep on going down in the vault. Oh, crack of arcane power. I haven't done a wizard lab in a little while. I wonder what this one will be. Where's my magic map again? Oh, I've got some. There we go. How do I get there? I think the best way to get there is just go down this way. Oh, really? Tell me I have to wait for my answers to back. I don't think it's too many tons, but it's still a few. Alright, well, that was pretty painless getting to that one. I'm going to drop, um... I don't know if I should, but I might drop the Curari dots. I think there's less things that are affected by those ones left now. So I don't need to worry about them too much. Nothing else I'm going to drop. There's... Keep the sounds on me. Kind of tempted to delete the enchant number outside. I might drop the Berserk. Uh, do I have any light? No, brilliance. Have... There we go. Brilliance can be left outside. That's probably enough, uh, enough stuff dropped. Let's go in. Oh, the formal Garden? That one's fine. It's got lots of arches in it, but I don't think I need to be worried. Especially with both me and my ancestor, with our reflection up and running. <laughs> the enemies might do more damage to themselves than they do to me with all, everything that they try and hit me with. I mean, I guess these guys here, the, the guys that like uh, teleport to trees and heal from trees and stuff, could theoretically be a problem. I could buff the ancestor. Alright, everything's going well. Um, I don't think I'm going to need any of these rage weapons, unfortunately. So can I get some fruit? Nope, it's not giving me fruit today. Oh, oh well. I, I don't know what the chances, but it seems like, I don't know, maybe a 20% chance if you show me stand on of getting some fruit or something. I don't think it'd be fruit for that one. Hey, there we go. We've got some grapes. Delicious. That just a potion of XP. Ooh, nice. Okay, so I might wait till I get up to level 20, um, because I'm fairly close already. Well, 90% of the way up. 21, I guess, actually. Um, and then I'll drink the potion of experience, bring me straight up to level 22. 
I don't need leather armor. I don't need a spade from Demon Blade, do I? Oh, I don't know. I'll pull it out of here just against the throw buffs for it, but I don't think I need a spade from Demon Blade. That's a very tough looking ledge. I'll keep an eye on what it summons. Okay, it did bring the guy, but it was just as it died, so it doesn't matter. Okay, I get the strengths, then drink the potion of experience. Get out, get another level of those skills are fine. Yes, yeah, the melee ones. Did my answers get anything good? I mean, this thing on the edge, uh, flaming axe. Oh, I don't think much has really changed my ancestor. Probably got some health or something uh, when I leveled up, though. All right, what have we got? Ah, oh, intelligence. Who needs to be smart? I mean, I got a whole helmet for that. So it's not likely to be drained to zero. Oh, hey, Nora, so I'll buff my answers before my magic points get drained. Often I have more problems than this with my ancestors dying in the vaults. I mean, sure, they die like a few times, but they seem to be surviving some of the fights, which is nice. Oh, that's not the right spot to be. Yeah, but I guess the answers are the side to take the bad spot and take all the damage, which, sure, I'll let them take all the damage from me. They were this old Titanic slime creature. I'll let them do, not take all the damage again. I didn't have any brand weapons today. I mean, it doesn't matter. Brand weapons are good, but Garrett is not in need of them. Right, the nice thing about the Spectral Brand is it works good against like things like Orbs of Fire, it works in everything, because it's doing more physical damage. Alright, one more level of the vaults, so and then I should probably just head on over to the Elven Halls or something. Go see what the elves are up to. I don't think this character will be too bad in the elven halls, although, again, like uh, some characters have had recently, like Sajiform characters, this character is slow at moving, so it does make it a bit tough with the ending vault and stuff. Uh, I don't care about this chain mail, I don't care about the scale mail, it's only plus like zero and stuff. I mean, it's a resist electric one, no, I don't really care about that. I'm actually, the resist of my character model are pretty good, like willpower and uh, what, fire resist? Uh, let my ancestors go at the front. I'm getting zapped here, so I'll try. There we go. Bring the guy back so we can't zap me as effectively. I shouldn't have too much problems with Thunderhawks. I mean, they will get through my evasion because I've got like one evasion. Oh, I need my ancestor. <sighs> I thought I might be able to open that door and get out, but I was. Ter terribly mistaken. I mean, it makes sense I couldn't because there's three guys here that love to se seal staircases. Oh, buff the answers. I think I've got to keep them alive, yeah. And with their axe cleaving, while they're buffed, they do a lot of damage, so... They absolutely slaughtered everyone in there. Uh, I've got to go with boots, not that I want to. Do I want the reflection or the regen? I think in here I want the reflection, but maybe in other branches I'd be better with the regen. Although I do currently have one source of regen for my uh, barding. Um, but in things like the depths and stuff, I don't think the reflection is quite as useful. It's basically just shield value, so... I'm trying to think about the Elven Halls. I know it's like crystal spears and stuff I can reflect back. But I think I might keep the reflection on the Elven Halls, but then once I get to the depths, I might swap. Alright. I like how the reflection that's useful, because most of the time we're just stuck with like regen ablets and magic regen ablets. I feel like a lot of the other ablets I don't get to use that often. I mean, I occasionally get to use face, but... 
I don't know, I'd like it if there was kind of a little... But it's it's kind of hard to make it until there is variety of what amulets you'd use. Um... Because they'd, they'd have to do things that were specifically good for some characters, but also good with others. I mean, I guess, uh... Spirit Guardian's a bit like that. But just a lot of characters don't really want Spirit Guardian. I love 23. Of course, my level's really good because I got that potion of experience, so I'm effectively one level ahead of this point in the game. That's fine. In fact, the cleavings are doing really well in there. Yeah, you can see like how many missiles are like flying my way and why I've kind of got the reflection on right now. Because I'm pretty slow at walking up to things, so um, it's nice to be able to kill the rage guys with their own damage. Wait, what was that? Was that the distortion? I might just go hide by my ancestor. <laughs> Probably a good idea. Man, I'm glad for like the warning of the, the unusual weapon so where it has the purple background because I don't think I would have noticed that that guy was distortion. Like I just noticed that it was like a purple background. I was like, oh wait, is that distortion? This game has had like a lot of really good like UI changes, like just adding the purple backgrounds and stuff. S super useful, like just in making the game more friendly to actually play. I mean, if you're playing carefully, it probably doesn't really make any difference. It's just, uh, people that play rather fast and dangerously like me that really benefit a lot from that sort of thing. In fact, I play a lot faster than I used to. I used to be, um, I don't know. I used to play, like, sort of carefully, but I was never super careful in this game. Alright, there we go. He's got a hate potion. I think I got a good number of those ones. Seven of those. I wonder whether I should go extended with this character or not. I mean, I haven't found any, um... I haven't found any ones called, uh, the armor. Not armor, the death talisman or anything yet. It's just a shame. I'm just, I'm kind of hoping for one. Oh. I think the thing to do here is just back up to the staircase. I wonder if that was even a real death rake. I think it was that. Oh, it is a real death rake. I might just pop a scroll of poison. There we go. Because it can't get me with a, with a spell breath if I'm already standing in a poison cloud. I feel like enemies aren't smart enough to stop you using Cloud so by doing things like that. I mean, sometimes they accidentally do, but, uh... Yeah, the enemies don't ever purposely bring out Clouds just to stop you bringing out Clouds or anything. I guess the players is, uh... There's Freezing Cloud. What other Clouds can players actually bring out? I mean, it's mainly just the ones from Scrolls. Alright, what have we got? Resist Corrosion. I still got the flight on, do I? <laughs> That's a bit silly. Um, might not actually be a bad idea to put on this resist corrosion ring, because I think there are guys that attack with uh, that in here, and flight's not going to be very useful at all. It's party shit distortion. Problem with that is it's like a reach weapon. Oh, yeah, like it. I'm going to reach through there and hit me. There we go, it's dead. My ancestor got it. I'm gonna pop this for like not a huge amount of reason for me to do this because I don't need the scrolls, but I'm just gonna do it because I think I can do it just fine. Kind of for the XP, really. All right. Ooh, there's what's his name in here? Um, Stereo. I might buff my ancestor. Oh, he's got a spectral demon. Well, he's got a spectral as well. Okay. I just transfer it back a little bit. There we go. Oh, 
Did my eyes just get blown back by false lots? I'm pretty sure they did. Because they were like far away, then suddenly they were just next to me. Oh, there's a ton of high tier weapons there, because not only were there like the ones on the ground, but there was also, well, the flying ones. There was also uh, that spectral demon whip. So I guess in area you can find demon weapons in here, because I yeah, usually don't, but I guess uh, you can find them on uniques occasionally. I don't think uniques are like any more common in the Hall of Blades than they are outside the Hall of Blades, though. Whoa. This is fine. I've got 140 health. I've got 140 health. All right. I want to retreat back just a little bit. In fact, I might go exclude off the, at least try to exclude off the castle and try to do the rest of the level first. Well, that's a lot of healing. Um, okay. Might actually, oh, these are kind of expensive, but I might grab them anyway. How am I with lignification potions? I think I'm pretty good, actually. Oh, man, I've got 11 lignification potions, 12 lignification potions. Yeah, no, I don't think I'm going to need those ones that are for sale. There's, there's basically 0% chance, I think. That's distortion again. No, it's got a wand of charming. Okay, that's less bad, because that's not going to affect me. Got too much willpower. I think that exclusion I put on the castle actually did the trick. Because there's already one um, entrance from like the outer part of the castle into the inner bit. I've got uh, six silence. Silence can be really good in the Elven Hall sometimes. Uh, sometimes you can read it while you're waiting for a teleport to go off. But it's not quite as good as it used to be because uh, Torfrost Cannon Age that the guys in here cast. Um... The little cannons are bringing us out on fate by silence, which is kind of annoying. So they keep on shooting you anyway. Of course, it does stop, like, the guys bring out new cannon aids, but I don't know. Doesn't feel quite as good. <laughs> yeah, I thought the ancestor. Uh, is that a real tormentor? No, it's summoned. And that shouldn't really be a surprise here. Do you ever get a real tormentor in this place? I don't think so, right? Although, maybe. You might be able to get, like, a corrupted bolt or something with a real tormentor. I'm just not entirely sure. Go for the guy that's summoning, there we go, summoning the Tormentor. Whoa. Whoa, that did some damage. Okay, I might actually do a little bit of a healing potion. Uh, I'm then I'm going to start teleporting, I think. Right. Don't want to get within one shot range of, like, the Crystal Spears and stuff. Oh man, the Ancestors is dying. Yeah, I think they got hit by the Crystal Spear or something just as bad. Oh. The good old shape shift of turning into like an alligator or something. I want to retreat back. I want my Ancestors to retreat back as well because they're almost dead right now. I mean, they could probably take out that shape shift. There we go, got them back. Okay, let's check out the loot. Let's see if there's a Black Knight Barding or something for me. No, no, that means that my body's pretty good. Oh, man, you're throwing this, all right. Uh, actually, what I need is, like, Gold Dragon Armor or something. I don't think I really need a whole lot more. Plain Armor of Poison Resist, Mutation Potions. Let's check out the site. As, uh, the door won't go for the statue with the ground form this time around. It's a lot of fun, but not for this character. Do I think there was a Death Talisman boss there? No. Uh, most of the talismans were actually in here, but none of them were death. Let's just go to depths. Maybe that will have my death talisman. It will 
Oh, I don't like being mugged at the entrance. I should get rid of that. It will very likely have my gold dragon armor, though, in here. I mean, I wonder what the chances. It's probably got to be around 90% right. Hey, I think my ancestors got their speed axe, finally. Uh, I've got everything apart from resist negative. Okay, so I'm doing pretty well with the resist. I don't think I need to swap any of the rings around or anything. Because I haven't really got a lot of good rings to like swap in or anything. I think there was the strength one I could probably do if I were to lose resist, ne uh, resist corrosion or something. Which might not be a bad idea. <sighs> Nothing care with distortion. Um... I won't buff my ancestor yet, but I'm definitely thinking about it. Oh, I probably should. Yeah, because I, I don't think I was astonished to get up next to me. Whoa. Good old manual of hexes, and we've got some of his ghost in here as well. Got Esha Doug's ghost, a cobalt hunter. Cobalt hunters are so weird, because they... They have, like, a really good aptitude. Um, they're a little frail, but the aptitude is definitely there. But then they've got, like, the reduced vision, so, like, doesn't quite work. It sort of works, though, so it's not, like, terrible. Oh, the skills are actually doing really well. Um, bring up the invocations to 15, definitely. I'll bring the evocations up as well. What is this manual? Long blades. Again, it's one I don't really need. There's also a ton of books in here. Maybe one of these books is something good. Vile Clutch Horn, Rhyme Light, Sticky Flame, Summon Ice Beast, Manifold Salt. I mean, if I want Manifold Salt, it's right there. I guess. Uh, that's good. The old Grand Light Talisman again. I already had one of those in the Elven Halls. Not a death one, which is really disappointing. What is up with this one? Don't be distortion. It's got Holy Wrath. Okay, I don't mind, worry about that. A reflection is why it's highlighted, though. So. Okay, that's fine. Ooh. Of course, you hit with the Orb of Destruction. <laughs> okay, then. I should be fine taking out Boris, but when he does hit with his Orb of Destruction, he does a lot of damage. All right. Nothing good on the ground. I don't think these really dropped much. I mean, Boris drops his robe of dags, but that's not useful for this character. Whoa, hold up. I might idealize my ancestor. I think this is fine, but I don't want to risk it without my... Oh, that's... Still doing a reasonable amount of damage to me. I just drop a little bit of fear on these guys. Oh yeah, it looks like the fear might have done the trick and I can go back up the staircase. Guess that's kind of the problem getting yourself out in the open on one of these levels is uh can't be a reasonable amount of things in the depths. In fact, depths is not it's mainly just swarms of creatures rather than individually tough creatures. I mean I guess you're doing other juggernauts which can be individually tough, but even then it's mainly a worry when they come with other creatures and they swarm you. Oh the other things swarm you while the juggernaut hits you really hard. Oh, well, good my ancestor. I thought I might survive a bit better. I was like trying to retreat back to TL them up, but nope. Got caught by a fireball on the way back. How many enchant armors? I got nine enchant armors. So as soon as I get gold dragon armor, it's going to be like really epic gold dragon armor. 
Uh, it looks a little bit of willpower when I put it on, but that's probably acceptable at this point. Yeah, back up to like five uh, pips of willpower, so losing one is completely acceptable. Don't care about the acrobat. Wasn't well, I gonna put on some regen or something? I might do go do that. Uh, lose a bit of shield value, see how that goes. Oh. I think I actually dropped a silent score on this guy, right? Because I'm pretty sure it can't summon the spells when I got the silence on it. And it does bring out like full on crystal sphere, so it's actually kind of nasty if you let them do what they think. So I've been completely forgetting about my poison breath. Um, not that it works on like half these creatures anyway. Oh, fragile well, this is fine. At least it's a gold dragon. Don't know if it dropped any. Oh, it did drop armor. Excellent. That's that's perfect. Alright. Uh, I just need to heal up and grab this armor. Which of course I can't carry. I'll oh, drop a uh, Drop a cold resist. I don't think I really need that. Alright, where's my staircase so I can go swap the armor around? So I got 49 AC and 1 evasion. Let's try this out. Um, so I lost 5 AC and 1 evasion, I think. That's alright, because once I charge it up, it's going to be pretty good. It does give an extra cold resist, which is a little excessive. Brings me back up to 3, I guess. Because I got 1 of my scarf, 1 of my shield, 1 of my armor. Yeah, so I'm perfectly sitting on 3. Um... All right then, well, I'm on 54 armor class now, which is a bit of an improvement. It probably also means uh, getting some armor skills more worthwhile. I think I already got up to like, oh, I got 15. Uh, you know what, that's probably the next thing to do. Let's sort of bring the armor skill up to 20. Be kind of funny if the, like, the next creature I see is like, uh, Pardon straight up to enchanting my armor. But we'll, we'll see if I get Pardon or not this run. Often Pardon hangs out on Zot though, so a bit later than when you usually get your first gold dragon armor. I thought those spells were meant to disappear when you kill the books, but today they haven't been. Um, it's transference to this guy. There we go. That's way better. My ancestors are actually in the correct spot. Right. Again, I've got no resist negative, so I think it's, uh, it's a minus 10% of your max health each turn when you stand on those clouds of woe or whatever they are. I feel like it's a, it's a fairly substantial amount, but it is reduced by uh, the resist negative. I'm gonna move out. There we go. Now the damnation's not gonna hit me. Those two guys with the damnation, though, can be pretty lethal. Especially when you're moving up slowly like I am, but... Oh, they may leave the problem when you have very little max health. Um... Alright, what's this arm shop selling me? It's trying to sell me... Ooh, gloves! I might be able to do something with the gloves. My gloves are just plus two. You know what? Let's give it a try. Let's try this pair. Oh, lots of willpower, it's got minus cover, it's got a regen, it's alright, I'll see what else is on um, offer here. Oh, regen, two decks, okay, that's probably slightly better than these ones, because I don't care about the willpower, so regen, two decks, yeah, I mean, it's, these ones come without the cover, and they're plus two gloves. Where am I going to resist the logic from? I mean, it doesn't matter at this point, because I'm getting another one. Oh, it's from my scarf. Huh. Actually, it kind of does. If I lost my shadows, I could put on, like, another cloak of some variety. Like, a scout for resistance, even. I get another fire resist. Maybe up to two fire resists. I mean, that's... Doable. Tetra fire is actually something I do need. Okay, vaguely, although if I bring myself up to two fire resists, it's probably not something I need quite as much. How much am I benefiting from the... I don't think I'm benefiting that much from this channel, so I think I will go and do the Scarf Resistance. Um... I 
There we go. Yeah, I mean... I'm missing with this negative, but that's kind of the only thing I'm missing. So definitely in need of a... Lich farm at some stage. <laughs> Otherwise, Tom isn't going to do a lot to me. And I'm done with the depth, so I've got, I've got to get myself a third rune, maybe a fourth rune. I might just do Vaults 5, because I've got a ton of regen, right? Like, I've got the regen amulet, I've got the regen, um, gloves, I've got the regen barding. I regen almost three hours a turn, yeah, I regen pretty fast. Oh, these old regular staircases, sure. Um, well, I guess I just use the teleport, go down. Oh, go down. A lot of draining. Kind of worried about that. Not like so much the uh, max, max health drain, but like actually how much damage it did to me. Yeah, managed to target the only thing I don't ever resist to. I should get mined by the little guys that can mark in here. I might buff the ancestor. These guys, because I think I got too much willpower for them. Actually, they got 2% of mark. It could in theory happen, it's just not very likely to happen. What's this the offering? Demon trying to venom, I don't care about. Crystal plate armor, I've already charged up some gold dragon armor. I'll take the money. Oh, it's a rune. Hey, none of one of those weapons. I mean, if I had already found the gold dragon armor, that would have been an option. Uh, I would have had less fire to just go with that option, but... I would have given slightly more armor class, so it's kind of a little bit of a trade-off. Probably should be auto exploring. I should risk wherever the auto explorer wants to go because that loves to head to the center of the map. Right. I guess I could go down this side. Doesn't really matter exactly which side I go down. Man, I remember when, like when the death talismans were first added, and there was like four of them sitting here in Vols Five. They're just like everywhere, all over the ground. But unfortunately, that's not the case anymore. Come on, take out the dragon. There we go. It's probably fine if this guy recalls. I might just, yeah, let it recall. I wanted to recall the second time. Hopefully I can kill it. There we go. That's better. I mean, I guess I explore this corner fully. But this is one of the ones that was like a little bit... Oh, that's not what I was expecting that to look like. I was expecting it to be like, uh... Little paths that go like... Oh, yeah, like this. That don't go all the way through. Okay, there's definitely the recall got off there. I might buff my ancestor. And these guys will get gifted, like, tough weapons off the mobile armory or whatever it's actually called. I don't think it's actually called a mobile armory, but... I can't remember its real name. Uh, that's an actual shop. He's trying to sell me. I mean, silver javelins? I can take some silver javelins, I suppose. I haven't really used my javelins, but I do uh, actually have some skill in them, so uh, I mean, it's not really as much as I should have. Maybe she gets more. I should probably bring the throwing out to 16. I do have 12 throwing, which is not too bad. I think that's a mid delay on a boomerang or something. I really don't know how to get there. I guess there's the other explore tray there. I was just hoping it would go in the right direction. Uh, I can put two more charge armors on my uh, gold dragon armor. Well, one now. And then the rest will just be on my shield. Yeah, that's kind of just fun with uh, charging up to gold dragon armor. You do... Oh, hey, look at that. Talisman of death. You do end up with less uh, to put on other things. I'll drop that cloak. Okay. A talisman of death. Um, let's do it. Let's start getting some shape shifting now. They gotta get twenty two, three shape shifting. I think my attributes alright. It's like minus one or something. 
Which I think is actually the average for shapeshifting, weirdly. It's like minus one. Or thereabouts. Like, I think humans are like a minus one or something. Too much stuff it can drain here. And this dude can drain as well. Alright, I wonder how fast that's gonna be. I mean, maybe by the end of... No, uh, maybe by the end of Zod. Maybe if I do Zod and Corrupt. I don't know exactly what I want to do. Also, I'm probably gonna think about, like, a different god at some stage. Like, can't believe one is good, like, really good um, for the three rune game. In fact, they're probably one of the best gods for pretty much anyone in a three rune game. They'd definitely be up there in the top, I don't know, five or whatever. Um... But it extended, they begin to fall off a bit because your ancestor stops getting more powerful when you reach level 27. Is that Faith Amulet? The Poison doesn't matter. Stealth is. Nah. Oh, resist electric ice, resist corrosion ring? I don't think so. I got the resist electric. Was it my gloves or something? Yeah, it was my gloves. Oh, he's got a fire resist AC ring with a bit of willpower, but it's minus end. Um, I gotta think about that. I mean, fire resist is alright. Where is it? There's also some ring mail, whatever. That doesn't really matter. I'll drop the. I think I can probably drop that potential fire now. Right, so I do lose five end. Um, don't really need the willpower, do I? Yeah, <laughs> the willpower's like maxed out, but AC fire resist versus negative is kind of nice. I might just swap out my AC ring. We max out the fire resist. Um, gives me A resist negative, so I'm on the board with that one. It just brings me down to five intelligence, which is maybe a little bit low, and I should maybe think of like uh, bring that up on level up. Wait, a second death talisman? Hey, it almost is like the old uh, version of this game with the death talisman first added, and then just everyone bolts five. Because I found two of them so far in bolts five. That's excellent. That's actually kind of crazy rare uh, to find two of them now, though. Oh, what can I drop? Um, get the old protection or whatever. Grab the Phantom Mirror. Uh, Alright, how's that? Can we like seven skill the shape shift? I guess not too bad. Let's go to. I gotta go to Zod and then Crypt, or I could do Crypt and then Zod. I'll do Zod and then Crypt, I think. And hopefully that will get me enough XP here to be able to use my... Death Dally's mid. Okay, those are some nasty little ambushes there. Oh, hold on, Charter Armor, hold on. I need that. I, uh... Max out my gold dragon number. There we go. Oh, buff my answers because it's not a fire. I think I managed to like get not get mutated by it, which is really nice. Um, also, sometimes I could reset these mutations, but they're not terrible at the moment. Don't use my poison breath quite as much as I used to. Um, it's like these. Golems and stuff are going to be immune to it, although I think half the Draconians can still be poisoned. Probably can't poison this guy, can I? Nah, it's, uh, it's resistant. I don't want to give it a try just to see, though. Oh, it's one of these vaults. It does give an artifact down with a ring, I think. Nah, it's not worth it. There's like Kagura demons and stuff in those. And they'll malmutate you horribly, so they're like very rarely actually worth doing. And sometimes there's actual tough things in them as well. Like tormentors combined with a few other moderately tough creatures. And once you get tormentors, I mean, pretty much anything's tough. Anything vaguely competitive turns into a tough creature. Oh, well, don't kill my ancestor. That's fine, though, I guess.
This is kind of this. Oh, do, do I need some fashion? I think I'll leave it. This kind of. Oh. Uh, what are we doing? I'm trying to leave this on the ground, but I'm not doing very well. It's kind of suspicious with all the, like, fire around here. It might be an over fire, but I don't think it's the right bolt for that. It does have red draconians in it, which is also kind of suspicious. That it might be fire-themed. Oh, how do I get rid of the... Moss of Wrath? There we go. Oh, I'm just taking the fire. I'm just trying to walk it back around that one. Um... I did get the alarm trap. I was worried I might get that one, but there wasn't much I could do to stop it. I mean, maybe I could have done a... Uh... Fog or something. I think I can make it back to the staircase. Depends how good this guy is at constricting me, which, as it turns out, not very good that time round. Let's get some health back, but I'm a bit worried about that shift, uh... Really well mutated guys, they're behind my ancestors, it's fine. And the staircase has definitely been very useful with everything going berserk. Um... I think these dragons can push, I might just go upstairs. I don't remember 100%, but I'm pretty sure they can. Alright. And most of the time they weren't able to push me because they had, had like an ancestor or something in the way to stop them. <laughs> I just don't check. I'm pretty sure I can. Yeah, not back the defender with a uh, little trap or thing there. That's the one that um could definitely do some problems with the staircases. <laughs> I should definitely still keep and bring these guys up. Like, there's uh, no reason to stop that all of a sudden because there's still like this shifter around here. There's still tons of tough stuff. Oh, not one of these balls, but all the. Look at all these odd tribes. They get malmutated uh, to death with those. It's Mango Mango Scores. This is taking Mango Mango I've seen today. There also a Coglin Hunter Oak Wire. I can't remember what the other one was. But yeah, definitely seen multiple mango mango ghosts that are all uh coglins. It looks like this one got almost won the game. They got to Zot too. Actually, I think that means they got to any level of Zot when you see the ghosts of Zot. I think it's only the dungeon ones that remember like what level they died at or something. It's very sense, because you wouldn't want a dungeon level 15 ghost like or dungeon level one or something. I mean it wouldn't matter that much. Because they had ghost vaults, but it'd be just a little silly. They didn't used to always be in vaults, so which I think is why it does. It's very careful with what ghosts it actually places in the early levels of the dungeon. Because there's already enough, like, out of depth uh, terrifying creatures in the early levels of the dungeon. Don't need terrifying out of depth ghosts as well. Alright, well, look over my seconds, so I'll take one of those down. Oh, this is a this is a skip, but I don't want to skip this level. I'm actually trying to get some XP. Oh, it's like, uh, flying my ghost, uh, not my ghost, my answer's like, ran to me onto the level. Because there was no room to bring it down the staircase, that's kind of funny. Oh, how many of these dudes are there? The guy's thinking, like, uh... Yeah, that's crazy, I might buff my ancestor. Oh, like the little, uh, whatever they call the protein guys. Progenitors or whatever they are. I got a lignification. I might just drink it because I don't think anything else is going to come along here. That's going to be the immunity to torment that I unfortunately can't yet get off my death talisman. Well, without bringing myself down to what, 10% health or something? Yeah, it's 10% health because I'm still lacking, I don't know, 10 skill or something? Whoa. That's a lot of guys. Hold on, I'm going to buff up my ancestor. 
So maybe these ones I worried about, like, sitting back and doing stuff. Yeah, that they go doing their stuff. Um... I crush some of these guys with Gravitabarine. Read some poison on some more of them. Whoa, that's badly wounded. I'm gonna heal up a little bit. They got hit by some uh, Quicksilver Breath and stuff. I care about the potential cold. I think I'm pretty good with that one. Yeah, but I maxed out of basically all my resist buff and resist negative. So once I do get this, um, this farm going, I'll be maxed out of that one as well. Hey, final level. Um, I'm gonna get a little bit of end. I think that's probably a good idea. My end's kind of a bit low because I got, I think it was gloves or something reducing it. Yeah, unfortunately, but I really want to keep those on because they're like, uh, oh, barding reducing it. They like regen, see invisible, they're good stuff. And they're plus four. So. <laughs> well, truly really the right stuff to have. Why did my AC increase? Oh, level up, right. Because uh, the Nargis get the, what is it? Tough Serpentine Scales for plus nine AC. Although they do have the armor fits poorly for like a minus seven AC. So like, it kind of cancels itself out in the end. Actually, it's actually slightly better than casting itself out, like, any couple of armor class from it. I think they're fancy with all the poison clouds. I can do the poison clouds, too. I don't think those guys are resistant to the moral thing. Yeah, I'm on Zot 4, so I'm actually getting quite near the end of doing Zot right now. Uh, doesn't matter if this guy goes berserk, it's not exactly a melee combatant. In fact, I think the Moth of Wrath... I don't think they actually purposely ignore guys, do they? I don't know, I don't think they do. But, <laughs> it wouldn't matter if it went berserk. Buff, uh... Not the answer is that they immediately got teleported, but it's probably fine. I can always, like, uh, move them if I need to with the trans... What is it called? Transference. That one. You know, gold dragons. I'm glad I've seen a... Well, I haven't seen that many of them. I just got really lucky with the armor. Got it off the first one I uh, fought, I think. Anyway, let's, uh, let's revelations this. I'm kind of low on revelations, but I will revelations this level. And I'm not going to do the, not going to do these sides, although the traps don't look too bad this time round. Well, <laughs> that side looks a bit worse than traps, especially the lab traps just perched there, ready to be set off. But, the other sides don't look too bad, or the other side. But no, I'll, uh, oh no, not marked. Um... I might just go to the crypt. Try to get my XP from the crypt uh, to get my death talisman going. It's a shame because the death talisman actually would have been kind of nice in the crypt, but oh well. I'm just trying to think of like a god I want to swap to at some point because I'm not doing the shining one this time round. I'm gonna do the uh death talisman instead. Definitely, well, truly really gonna do the death talisman instead. Just uh, I I don't know. I can keep with happy quite for a bit longer. It's just I do want to swap at some stage. Obviously, after I get the um, death talisman going, because the uh, penance on the happy quarter is that you don't gain XP for a while, which is kind of rough if you're trying to get a skill usable. <laughs> I don't mind, I'm a warrior for the fighting skill. Some say they're going to end up with the um, trans, uh, not the shape shifting skill. For just a little while, then I'll go back to doing the pole arms, I guess. Because I, I want to finish with the pole arms as my highest skill. Or in the case of this character, probably the first skill to hit 27, because I'm probably going to get multiple skills to 27. Ooh, chant weapon? Um, armor? I can put that on my shield. I don't actually need the cold resist anymore, do I? 
but there's no other tower shields. Yeah, I'll, I'll chart up this tower shield, because um, I think... Actually, it might be perfectly on three core resist. Let's see. Got one of my shield, one of my armor, one of my cloak. Yeah, I think I'm perfectly on three. It's just once I get the death uh, talisman going, I get a, like a fourth one, which won't do anything. But I guess that's harmless, <laughs> having an extra one. But if I, um, if branches, but I don't need mags out fire, just like go to this where they cloak this a bit more protective or something. Instead of the scar for resistance, I suppose. And it's not going to be that many branches, but I actually need mags out fire. This will just be like the fiery hell and, um, fiery pandemonium level. That's about it. Alright, well, first of the credit, I don't think I gave that much XP. With 70 for shape I need 6 more skills, so I guess that means I'll be 40% health if I put that on, I think. That's how it works. It's like every every skill you're missing, is, uh, it's like 10% less health. Oh, I got myself slowed. Whoops. I mean, I've got, oh, I've got tons of, um, teleports, like, 20 or something. I don't know if it's quite 20. Oh, yeah, it's actually 20. And I've got, I've got Blink's right, I've got, that's 6 Blink Ink, which is a reasonable number. <laughs> More charge up, okay. I think I'm going to plus 3 shield. Um. And if I'm going death tallies, but the potions aren't going to matter hugely, although having a few haste is still useful. Seven is, yeah, tons. Because what you can do with the form, you can, like, take off the form, drink a potion, put the form back on, and then go kill a boss or something. But it already really works when you know what's coming up, because you kind of... I, mean, I guess if you're going down a particularly dangerous level, you can also do that with the death form, but... I usually just use it for taking out bosses. Alright. Five skill, so I'd be on 50% health at the moment. Oh, more enchant Wow, there's been tons of this enchant armor. Because I think I started with plus zero gold dragon armor, so I put 12 on that. And then I put a good... Does this shield start at plus one? So I'm still going to put a plus... A good three on my shield. Let my answer start off the front, I think. Uh, I'll buff them up, because they do seem to be dying, and it's like a really tough-looking lich here. Care of the Spirit Guardian, alright, so this is all the treasure. There was a Manifold Assault somewhere, but, um... Hmm. That's gonna have to wait a long time, I think, before I ever get that one castable. If I ever get that one castable, it was in a... It was like in one of the earlier vaults, so I could probably go clear out at some stage. No, it's definitely baseball sense, I think, to get the... Death Bomb going... Ooh, what's that? Um, Evasion? Shred? There's also... Oh, the resistance doesn't really matter. There's also a Dex one. I don't think these are that good. It's like it's Dex plus six, strength plus three, minus cold resist. I mean, I determined that minus cold resist doesn't even matter, right? Um, but I don't think I need those. If some of those had some resist corrosion on or something, they might be a little bit worthwhile. I mean, they were they were right. This level, oh, this is level three of the crypt. I'm still gonna need four more skill. Um, is there anywhere else I could do? I mean, it's the slime pits, but I can get mold mutated in there. I guess I could do the slime pits. But if I do the slime pits, like, hmm, yeah, I guess I could do the slime pits. Does lock me out of doing Jeeva later on, but I don't think I'll do Jeeva with this character. All right, you know what? Yeah, sure, let's do it. I don't think you get a huge amount of XP from the slime pits, but you get some.
they thought if you dive, and I usually dive it to try and uh, not get too many mal mutations and stuff. Try to die by my ancestor. There we go. It was a bit of a shame when they moved to the side because they were giving me perfect cover for a little while there. But seemed to work out anyway. I don't know if I can... Oh, he stabbed through it. Excellent. Because you've got, I think it's a 50% time to like stabbing through an enemy or something. Otherwise you tend to hit the guy in front. Um, anyway. This takes me down to the last level. Whoa. And hide again. Do I want to haste for fighting the Royal Jelly? I think I kind of do. Yeah, I think I do. If I can even find the Royal Jelly, I don't recognize this ending yet. But it's definitely, it seems to be one of the new endings instead of the old school one. Alright, well, it's got the, got the staircase around the edges at least, which means the uh, boss is probably in the center or... It's probably just the staircase, right? Good, it's just the staircase. Yeah, I reckon the boss has got to be around the, in the center somewhere, preserving the Royal Jelly hasn't like wandered around or whatever. Uh... Oh, I see how this is. And you go in this, um, this way. Somewhere. Wherever the way is, that is the wall. You know, switching to the... Hmm. Switching to Jim is like somewhat tempting, but I don't think I'd do it. Just for like a super large amount of regen, but no, I don't think I'd do it. Um, oh. That's the raw jelly. Alright, well, I definitely might up. i try without a... Haste, um... Oh yeah, that's, uh, that's perfectly fine. I'll just start the teleport. Oh yeah, it seems to take me a reasonable distance. That was a matter of uh, becoming the, basically the cleanup crew, getting rid of everything that's managed to survive. Oh, is that the Black Knight's body? It sure is. Is that even worth wearing? <laughs> Man, I was even expecting this character to actually find the Black Knight spotting. Um, I was gonna like make a joke before and I said I might find the Black Knight spotting, but anyway, let's look at it. So, it's more AC. I don't care about the resist on it though, it's ponderous. Mine might even be worthwhile. I mean, my camera one's like regen, so 6 AC in this is the difference, right? My camera is the invisible regen. I care about the willpower, the minus it's probably acceptable. Oh, I mean, it's a decent junk vac, AC, but oh, I don't think so. Especially not with the ponderous on it, although I'm already fairly ponderous, so... I don't know. I think it's fairly, uh, fairly equivalent to what I've got. Okay. Does that seem a little black, uh, grayed out? Is it just because I've got, uh, barding on with that? Maybe. I don't care about Frostbite. Alright, well, I think I've done it here so I can just get out. How? Oh, maybe not. <laughs> of course, I had a sample of Slime Wall or something, and the Auto Explorer doesn't want to go do that. Alright, well, I need... I still need, like, an extra 2.1 skill. I gotta do a little bit more of Zod 5. I'm just worried I'll get mal mutated, but it's probably fine. But there was the alarm trap that got set off in here, which presumably pulled out something. So I actually tried to wear off like the slow that was on me, which uh did work. Come on, there we go. Moved up into view, so we're perfect for me to just stab it.
Uh, maybe no orbs of fire. Maybe it's just dreadlich. It's a mod dreadlich. It's, maybe that's all there is on this level. Well, I only need like, what, 1.5 skill now? That's not too bad. Um. Hmm. I'm actually going to go clear this out right now, I think. And hopefully that at least enough for, to try and get the skill that I'm after. Because I'm kind of tempted to, like, uh, ban the heavily acquired now, but maybe not. Oh, no, marked. I'm going to drink one of these cancellations, but this is not perfect. And so I have a bit of buff, but the answer is kind of behind me. Uh, I think another buff, I think it's probably a good idea. Just keep them alive in a situation like that where things are just streaming in. Wasn't too bad though. Alright, there's the Orb of Fire. Of course I'll buff my ancestor. Oh. I get into a good choke point. Uh, at least something that vaguely resembles a choke point. Oh, mind again. Um, I think I might just go down this side this time around. Buff my ancestor and just see how long I can pull things back this side. Hey, there we go. Shape to where I want it to be. So I can get, uh, I mean, I can get pull ups at this point, I guess. Um, what are the god choices? Like, if I wanted to abandon. If I wanted a battered, uh, hip, uh, hip quite a what would I grab? Make it, oh, gold's like expensive. Wow. Four and a half thousand gold. How much do I even have? I mean, I have like eight thousand. I can totally afford it. Uh, what other gods are there? I mean, I could totally just go for like, uh, yeah, I could totally just go for Gozeg, right? Oh, more child armor. All right. Dump that on my shield. I mean, sure, it'll take like a while to build up the money. But yeah, let's do this. So I can put on the I can put on the form, and then I can go find a Gozag altar. Fortunately, you're gonna lose my ancestor, but hey, <laughs> what can you do, right? Um, I can probably drop a lot of the potions too. All right, Gozag. Yeah, let's do this. That's a lot of money to pay over. Oh my goodness. I think I just have to die. I really need Black Knight Barding. Oh, you wish you could understand why Swapping Gods is uh, late as a good thing, Chadley Wick? Um, it's because I happen to know for a fact that Gozag, is, no, not Gozag, um, Heavenly Aquatic is not massively impressive and extended. And at this point in the game, you can survive, like, God Wraths a lot better than early on. So that's kind of the only reason to swap at this point. But yeah, definitely swapping early on tends to get you killed. Um, but if you're already with a god that's good for extended, or you've got the right things to make your god good for extended, then you can totally just um, go with whatever god you've got. Feels weird not having an ancestor. I've had them for so long. Because I got my god reasonably early this time round. Uh oh. That thing's tough. That thing over there. Um. I'm gonna get into this choke point. I'm getting a little bit of health back. Uh, but it can do us to spell dead, although it might not be able to with the spectral weapon up the front. Just a, just a melee, is it? I think this guy's just melee. What makes a god good for extended? Um, I mean, it's various things that can make a god good for extended. But, some of the powers, like, the heavily acquired, the ancestors stop scaling after you reach level 27. So the heavily acquired is, like, really, really good before extended, but then the power drops off a bit in extended, because the ancestors can't stay alive. And some of the other gods can be like that, like, the abilities just don't do enough damage or whatever in extended anymore. Whereas a lot of the gods just kind of um, stay working just fine. Like, Okumaru's finesse works just fine at any point in the game, right? Like, it's, what, twice your tank speed or something. Always going to work fairly well. Um, 
Something like Gozang Sprimes and uh, Buffs are always going to work just as well, late game and early game. But I think they tend to work a little bit better in Extended because you have more money. And of course, Shiny one's good in Extended because you get uh, all the stuff to make you better at killing demons. Which is basically the entirety of Extended. Well, I guess Undead as well. This is fine. But it's only fine because I've got the Death Talisman on. Um... And I've got enough regen that the uh, Pandemonium should be too tedious like it is with some characters. In fact, do I still have three souls of regen on? I almost certainly do. Yeah, actually, I wonder what gods I've... Uh, how would I check which gods I've done and extended the most? Because I sometimes do the late game switches, which makes it a little bit more complicated. Um... I don't know. Uh, let's see. I don't even know if the bot's still in chat. It probably is. I added it like five hours ago or something. Yeah, so lots of shining ones, of course. Gozag makes sense. The human Sith Martyr, though, will make sense. Okawaru. Quasar, a lot of those be late game switches. Wujin? I mean, I did win my last character with Wujin and extended. That wasn't too bad because uh, Wujin doesn't lose power either and extended. Oh, really? So many summoning things. Um, what else have I won? Legato, probably. Mm, okay. Ashen Zaris can be really good at, like, a spellcaster, because you can just get so many high-level spells. And with Ashen Zaris, I mean, you can't really abandon them, because they just destroy your items if you abandon them. And that's pretty rough. I'm still under wrath, right? Yeah, I am. Probably going to be under wrath for most of Pandemonium, I would imagine. Oh, one, one Hepley Aquana extended, but I've done lots of characters that did Hepley Aquana before extended and just switched away later on. One of Shkayor? I think that was actually like an assassin character that I did with Shkayor. That was a really painful character. It took multiple attempts <laughs> because I was trying to like assassinate Pandemonium Lords and it actually kind of worked. But it was definitely sketchy. You know, I should actually reset my mutation, shouldn't I? Because my poison breath is not going to be a lot of use in here. Uh, let me go do that. So I'm going to add the form. Again, mutation. I got six of these. I can probably get something better. Two AC minus two strength. Actually, that's not bad. Yeah, let's go with that. It's nothing like super special, but it's not like bad. Better than the minus four strats I had before. How many Jeeva have I done extended with? Only three? I hope Jeeva can be kind of fun with extended because you get all the regen and stuff, but I don't know. Apparently, I haven't done much. I mean, it's probably just because I haven't done that many Jeeva games in total. Oh, there's going to be a Pandemonium Lord in here. Oh, it's got so many summoners with it. Uh, it does, oh, Silence of Firestorm, wow, okay. Doesn't have a lot of health, but I think I'm going to start the teleport. I don't think there's any reason for me to stick on this level. The problem is, like, the problem with Silence is that there's not a lot of things you can do once you get silenced up, so if it goes wrong with the Firestorm or something, it's kind of bad. Hey, finally a Magical Rune, so this is one where I need Cold Resist, which I got. Actually, I've got all the Resists. Yeah, like, literally all the resists right now. Um. Oh, that's right. I was meant to be swapping my cloak for another cloak. Um. Or my scarf for another cloak. I don't think I brought another cloak with me. So if I find a way out of Pandemonium, I should go swap my cloak. I don't think I have to reflect it anymore, unfortunately. So I can't reflect that guy's missiles back to him. So I'm wearing the regen outlook instead, which is definitely the right thing to have on a pandemonium. Right, well, it's pretty obvious for the bosses because there's like a square shaped area carved out beneath me. Also, the creatures coming out there aren't like normal pandemonium creatures, they're specific to this level. Well, specific to the boss area on this level, even.
What's up, Jelly? I should give you a shout out there. How was your stream today? Um, because I did think I saw you like streaming earlier, right? Uh, was it like Fallout seventy six or something? See if I can go get a chat uh, shout out going. Oh, I can't fly, can I? <laughs> Gonna actually walk around the long way to go kill the shark serpents. That's fine. I love it when you, like, kill the guys about the deep water, you just get the money teleported into your wallet, it's kind of crazy. Are you playing Fallout with, uh, your bro, right, with, like, SDM plays or whatever it is. Yeah, whatever his name is. Yeah, I think I've, uh, caught one of those streams before, but I could get one today, because I was streaming at the same time. Now, how's, uh, how are you finding Fallout 76? Because I heard it was pretty disastrous at launch. I mean, they have worked on it, right? Uh, you know, my chat here, why does it just randomly scroll up? Hmm, I suppose it's just Twitch doing Twitch things. Oh, it's really glitchy and a bunch of stuff. Just doesn't work. Man, you'd think by like now, if, if it was going to get fixed, you'd think it'd be fixed by now, right? So, I don't know, I guess that's just how, just how it is at this point. That's a shame, though. Uh, things you're supposed to interact with just totally unable to touch, etc. Right. Man, that was a bit of a shame. So how do I... I guess I just leave that dude on the island. <laughs> no, because I played, like, earlier Fallout games, but I never really got into the later ones. Um... Oh, hold up. I thought to put my buffs on before I went in here. Eh, I'll just go as I, go as I can do the trick. Haste? Yeah, haste sounds good. Do I need anything else? But not really. <laughs> I need like a... Oh, maybe, maybe I need a bit of flight. Um, I need like a advised electric charge or something to get up to this guy. All right, well, it wasn't too bad. That's a good thing about the the about Gozag. At least when you're in Lich form, you can still buff up just with uh, your abilities. All right, well, five runes. That's not a huge number of runes, but not too bad. I don't think this guy can really damage me, so I'm just going to run around the long way. Alright, what's my way down on? Of course, uh, I think once you do, like, um, once you get the rune, you tend to get a bunch of things summed in. At least that seems to be the case. I could be entirely wrong on that, but it does always seem to happen, so. That's the point. I'm just kind of presuming it's a thing. Is that a heal wounds? Oh, it's an enlightenment. I probably don't really need it. Eh, whatever. I'll grab it. Oh, Dark Rune. This is the one where I think Glorix Block has the spell undead. But apart from that, it's not too bad. Oh, I mean, they also have Torment, so I've got to keep my Lich form on even if they have the spell undead. So yeah, I've definitely got to make sure I buff up beforehand. Hopefully I actually remember this time round, otherwise I'll be having to do my Gozang buffing as well. Man, Gozang's just really good in general when you're a character that can't drink potions. Like, if you're a mummy or if you're in lich form, it's really just a good god to have. Oh, can you just run infinite laps on Pandemonium Abyss and level your skills forever? Yeah, technically. Well, I'm leveling anything with my Hepzo Quad Wrath there. I mean, it's, it's such a tedious way of, like, living, but technically you can. And I have done a bit of stuff that way before, but I don't know. But there's always risk of pandemonium, right? So, because sometimes the random pandemonium lords or whatever just really tough. Um, so I would recommend it when you're actually trying to win, but sometimes I've had to do it with some characters. But I've had to do it before when I got like an attribute really drained. I was just like scouring pandemonium to try and get my attribute back. It's kind of painful. Oh, there he is. Oh, again, I didn't get a chance to 
I didn't get a chance to ace up, but there we go, Goes Egg's um, offering. Another nice thing about the Lich Form Goes Egg is that uh, all the bad so-called buffs, like Berserk, don't get offered anymore. And Lignification, well, they might get offered, but they don't do anything. Oh, that seemed pretty tame. He did come a long way earlier than I was expecting, though. Um, I don't know if I made, like, lots of noise or something, but I certainly draw him out, uh, draw, drew him out somehow. But I think if you're actually trying to get all your skills maxed out, doing a character that's designed for ziggurats and setting them into a ziggurat tends to work pretty well. I'm not sure if that's true anymore, because apparently ziggurats got buffed or something. But uh, that used to be the way, and if I wanted all my skills maxed, that used to be what I did. <laughs> did some ziggurats. I think it's like five ziggurats and all your skills are maxed out, basically. Quiet runes faster than you can uh, get out of T2. I can't play as fast as like Energetic Octo though. Energetic Oct Octo is crazy with how fast they play. I think he had like a game that was like 70 and a half minutes victory. That's, oh. There's probably the Demonic Rune like right under this guy, right? Yeah, Demonic Rune is not, sure. But I'm gonna start a teleport. Um. Okay, this dude's freezing me, it's fine. Please teleport me out of there. Oh, also, did I ever pick up that manifold assault? Not that I can train it up. Oh, uh, apparently there's a book right there. I don't think I picked it up, though. Nah. I should probably grab the amputation. I mean, oh, it's 100% failing because I'm in heavy armor. Actually, I'd never get a uh, manifold so going in heavy armor, would I? Because it's a 7th level spell with my 7th. No, that's like ridiculous. I'd have to get a scale all the way to like 27 or something. I mean, you'd eventually get that, but that's just a ridiculous thing to do. Okay. Gozak doesn't care about my magic points, so I don't have a lot of use for my magic points, which is probably a good thing, because this level loves to drain them. Uh... Oh, there's the Pandemonium Lord. I know they had Glacier, what else do they have? Border Cold? Okay. Glacier is definitely the worst thing they've got on them. Give me the money. I know there's like, all these guys looking at me and stuff. And I think some of those guys might have been smiting me or uh, whatever the smoke demons might have been smiting me through the fence and stuff. Uh, I can't even kill most of these guys. I'm just going to leave them to stare at me. Alright, cool. I'm on seven runes. How many runes am I trying to get before I move on to the next level? Two more. Glowing and fiery. Glowing should be fine. Um, hmm, fiery's probably fine as well. Yeah, it should be fine. I know the range attacks, which makes the fiery one easier, but, like, it should be fine. At least I got the lich form to help me out when it springs in. What does it bring in? It usually brings in the brimstone feeds, of course, because it's a fiery level. Wait, that was the staircase. Or oh, the portal, I should go take it. Whoa. This... This level looks holy, I think it might end my form. Is it actually holy? It looks holy. Yeah, I mean, it's not going to have, like, an Apis on it if it's not a holy one, okay. Um, this is one that just has the demonic room, which I've already got, so I don't actually need to be on this floor anymore. So I should just make my way around the edge until I can find the way off. Uh... This one actually got buffed recently, because, uh... What are they called? The, the little, these guys. They mark you while they're inside. You can draw in some more of them, and then you just draw in more and more and more of the, uh, orphan guys, but it doesn't always work out like that. This time rather killed it pretty quick. Alright. Oh. 
There's got to be treasure behind here. They, I think there usually is. I don't think this level targets the corrosion, so I can just yeah take off the resist corrosion. This is just money though. The heal wounds potion. This is scale mail. There's not actually a lot of treasure behind here, is there? Why just put on protection? For this level. I want the resist corrosion for normal levels of pandemonium because I never know what spells like the random pandemonium lords are gonna have and stuff, but Ooh. I gotta buff up just in case. Can I get some I can get some haste in the first one? It's pretty expensive though. I might get mine on the second one, that will probably do the trick as well. Whoa, maybe not. Can I get some haste as well? Okay, haste is the last one. It also gets a little bit of healing, so I think I'll take that one. Uh... Still got my buffs on, which is great. I'm healing up reasonably fast. But yeah, that mark, even if it was temporary, drew a lot of guys. Also, what are all these shields? Are they all just plus zero? They probably all just plus zero. Looks like it. How's my shield already plus 7? That's kind of crazy. Anyway. No, plus 6, I mean. Because I just found tons of enchant armors. There's a staircase now, so I should activate my lich form and just go to the next level. It's a good thing this character can deal with a holy level, because I know it's a... I think it's usually shiny when characters that struggle with that level, because they can't get any piety by killing things, because everything's holy. Um... <laughs> And the cleansing flame doesn't do anything either because everything's holy. Oh. Uh, this guy's got a summon dragon. Okay. And a bombard. Um. Might have to teleport out. I might start it right now. Just these guys with damnation I'm kind of worried about. Right, well, I'll probably bump into the Pandemonium Lord again, and the Pandemonium Lord itself was fine, it's just had way too many allies with it, and they weren't really getting in their damnation, thankfully, so it wasn't too bad, it gave me plenty of time to escape. I want to pick up all the smarty, but I can't. I'm constantly getting bombarded. Alright, well, this level didn't have anything, right, so I go to the next one. There's a fiery level, and there's... Oh, that's fine, I think. And there's another one. What other one is it? There's fiery and a uh, mutating one. Glowing level. Which this is neither, unfortunately. That's 12 corrosion already? Wait, I've got, the, I've got my resist corrosion off. Whoops, that's the... Oh, I actually swap my ammo, it doesn't really matter. Uh, but anyway, I should be putting my... Oh, bye! What the wrong thing again? What am I doing? I'm trying to put the... Resist corrosion on instead of the protection. Finally got it. Oh, man. I, I mean, I guess in combat I probably couldn't have done that because uh, the ammo sort of warned me trying to swap them in combat, I think. But that was kind of silly. I'd also like to say I was more, be more careful in combat, but that's probably a lie. <laughs> I probably wouldn't. Oh, wait, that's the way on. That's exactly what I want to take. Am I still in, like, uh, still in Hefty Aquatic Parents? Yeah, the Hefty Aquatic Parents lasted quite a long time. Well, I guess technically Godrath. I don't know, it's the one where you don't get any XP for a while. Hey, there we go, fire rune. Um, my fire this is like good. I definitely want to buff before the boss fight with some haste and might. I think this should just go fine though. I might have to teleport out a few times. I got a lot of tons of regen, so if I teleport out, by the time we get back to the boss, they'll still be really wounded. That's Tower Shield Fire Resist. Um Nah, that's probably not worthwhile. A barbed head on fire? That's hilarious. So the fire goes out faster if I move. Or the barbs will do some damage to me if I move. Actually, I think I'm gonna teleport. At least I can still do that. 
Okay. That's kind of crazy getting both bombed and set on fire, but I guess um, sometimes you do. This is the boss level right above me. Um, Right, I know exactly where the boss is, so... I will put on my boss by adding my form and just drinking them, because I might as well use the ones I've already got. Um, Where's the might? The form back on, of course. There he is. Good old Sarah Bob. Um... Right, he's wearing me down a bit. I might just teleport out and get my health back and then come back into the fight. Where is he? Let's get back into the fight, but my boss will probably wear off by the time we get back, so it's probably going to cost me a little bit getting through these guys. These guys that were with Sarah Bob, because getting rid of them while they're not with Sarah Bob would be great if they were the same ones. Oh, come on. Pick up the stuff. It's not picking up because I'm on fire, which makes sense. Alright, well, I'll buff up again. Can I get some... I can get some resistance of mine. I mean, mine's fine, but I want some haste. Mainly just want haste. And there's the haste. Uh... Yeah, there's Sarah Bob. Oh, he summoned a bunch of dudes. Can I get him with a Phantom Mirror? I think that's always a little bit of risk that it's like, own oh, Phantom Mirror will uh, cast Firestorm and hit me, but hey, it's probably not too bad. Yeah, I mean, that's definitely distracting him. Okay, then. So he's dead. Um, I don't need a sword. I'm not a sword user this time round. Excellent, so I've got one more rune I do believe on this level, which is the uh, glowing rune. I've got to find that somewhere. Oh, the amount of things you uh, standard trade blows with made you panic every time. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they do certainly cancel out my shield when there's that many of them, but... I don't know, it looked like everything was going just fine with that fight, so I wasn't too scared. Hey, glowing rune, nice. That is what I want to see. I don't care about the Berserk. In fact, I think I'm right next to the boss chambers here, which is really nice as well. Uh, I want this demon to summon in too much stuff. Yeah, but a lot of this game is like learning when you can take a fight and when you can't. Oh, that's not perfect. I might just have to... You know what? That can shoot hit. There we go. I was going to say I might just have to use like an acid mod to get rid of the like, guy that was summoned in there. Well, summoning things in there. Whoa. Whoa, my end! My, my end is gone! Well, it's not quite fully gone, but it's down to four. Also, even the real boss chamber, it's like a little fake boss chamber. Come on. Three? Oh, no. Oh, I don't have any... I don't have any end sources. Um... I should have brought one with me, as it turned out. I might just magic map this level so I can spend less time here, actually, but it's still not that great. Where's my magic mapping? Right, this is the real boss chambers. I don't see who's summoning these Kakra Demons. Oh, there they were for a second. Still three in, okay. That's... Hmm. I hate when this level like drains you into zero though, I've had that happen before. <laughs> well... Oh no, those brain ones? Oh, does this brain bite, does that actually drain into the just drain like magic points? Maybe it's fine, um... Okay, I need to buff up before fighting the boss. Man, I might just do some goes egg buffs here. Get myself haste is good on the first one. Haste of might, yeah, that's perfect. 
Oh, these guys are summoned. I can't even see them summoned anymore. This level loves the summoners. Like, it's got the ones that bring shadow creatures out. It's got everything in terms of summoners. I mean, uh, yeah, these guys summoned. Um, fragile again, right. I want to go back and try and get rid of that, although I've got to get rid of this little demon first. Good, the fragile's gone, my health is back. My buffs are gone, so I'm going to have to put those back on by the time we get to the boss. I don't think those eyes, those eyes have zero chance of confusing me, I'm pretty sure. Um... Okay, there's the boss. I've got my willpower strip, but I'm probably fine. I can get some haste. Haste is probably all I need here. Health is still fine. I don't think I need to tally just yet. There we go. That wasn't too bad. And for some reason, I managed to get all the way back up to, like, uh, seven and during those fights with those guys in there. There weren't, uh, weren't too many ones that drained my end. At least they were. They didn't get very good luck on draining it. All right. I will go to the next region. What I'm actually looking for is the gateway to Pandemonium. There we go. No, oh, best I mean. Excellent. Ah. Plunge deeper? That's actually a good thing. I do want to plunge deeper into the abyss. I want to get down to level 3. I got quite a bit of regen, so I could probably go as deep as level 4 if I wanted to. I mean, presumably I can even find the ways down. <sighs> uh, it doesn't matter if I leave half this money behind, it's just kind of frustrating seeing all this money they can't pick up. I mean, it's only a small piece of money, but oh well. Should just keep on moving. It's the right thing to do in the abyss. Even if Guru's egg would want me to pick up the money, can we leave the uh, Sure, I'll take it. But I'm just gonna have to go straight back into the abyss anyway. There we go. That's my entrance. I like to kind of manually explore and try and go in one direction. I mean, it's, um... Yeah, because then you're not backtracking into, like, places you already explored. You're also moving when you're healing up health instead of just sitting there regenning. So that's what I tend to do. Oh, so much for go in that direction. It reduces how much you have to backtrack, but it doesn't completely eliminate it with walls just appearing like that. Oh. So they pulled to another region. All right, that's fine. Uh, I don't want to go near the Silent Wraith, actually. I think I want to try and just, uh, go in the opposite direction. That's usually a good idea when you see some silence in the abyss. That's another thing with, like, avoiding Auto Explore, because for some reason Auto Explore travels through silence, which seems incredibly risky, but... I guess what it is... what it is, I guess. I looked for the like Arthi options. I couldn't see anything to stop it going through silence. Um, oh, is that the rune already? All right, well I'll take a rune. In fact, I might buff up to get there faster. Haste on the. It's the last of the expensive haste. 
Yeah, it's probably worth it. Otherwise, it might time out before I get to it. That's, um, yeah. Not that it's too bad. I don't think I can cast my amputation. It's gonna go wander over to it. All right. I actually have a way of getting rid of that confusion. At least it wore off on its own, but... Yeah, I can't exactly drink a curing potion, can I? And Yaris is not so easy to get when you're in heavy armor, um, either. Good, there we go. This is my gateway leading out. So I've done the abyss, done pandemonium. I'm on 10 runes. I have 10 runes, good. So I got the hells, I got the... I might go to the hells. But I'll leave the... Oh wait, hold on, the cloaks. I need to go check on one of those. Master cloak? Yeah, maybe. Mm. Something I can do. It's a little questionable, but I'll start trying to start up a teleport. It's just low questionable because you've got these guys that like get rid of your teleports and stuff. Alright. Oh. This voice is not ideal. Um. I think I'm actually kind of far from where I was. Alright, that's not too bad. And now the creatures should spread out over the level just a little bit. I'm not doing so well bringing this shifter upstairs or anything. Alright, those are the main ones I was worried about there. The couple of shifters doing their thing and shifting me around, so... what? That wants me in Dunning Sport. I guess I, I guess I technically am. Ooh. Hmm. <laughs> Good find magic points. I don't think I needed them anyway. Uh, the twister is at least taking out the enemies as well. Ah, well, bring the ghost upstairs. The ghost. Oh, what? Climb the staircase. There we go. Ghost should be able to climb staircases these days, and they can, in fact, parade up the well. Travel up the staircase. What was the deal? Was this like a cloak or something that I was going for? I don't think it was anything too special, but a like, good cloak could uh, make all the difference. Five inch. I might want to carry around a cloak of five inch just because it, uh, my end can sometimes get drained dead, dangerously low. And it's a good backup to get it, but I don't I don't think I need to torment because everything's gonna be immune. Do I have like some Might drop the Ambrosias. And the Lignifications. Yeah, like half these motions aren't really very useful because uh because of the Lich Fob. But anyway, let's go and get a more of a normal cloak, I guess, because that was not even that well enchanted. There's a plus two cloak right here. The rune cloak in here? I'll take out the rune cloak, it's probably nothing too special. Alright, so it's a plus one cloak of poison resist. I don't care about poison resist, so it's not that special. It's plus two helmet to see if it's one with a plus four hat of intelligence. I reckon the hat of intelligence is pretty good. Oh, what's that? Actually, with the macro menu or something? Uh. I reckon that Cloak Vassal is the way to go, actually. Oh, what do you mean don't know how to get there? Now you should know how to get there. It didn't know where the transporter led, I guess. Because that allows me to take away my rig of resist corrosion and put on something entirely better, like, um, potentially, I guess. Yeah, so it's far more AC from that, and then... A bit more from that. Just down one fire resist, which isn't too bad. Yeah, I should be ready to go to the entrance to hell now, I guess. Ooh. I've oh, got 12 digging? Uh, mm, I might do a digging anyway. It's just such a perfect spot for having a digging going. I think they're slowly wearing me down, but it's not too bad. So I might just go back into- oh wait, if I go back into this corner, I don't have my spectral weapon anymore. I should be one forwards from here if I get the chance. 
There we go. So I can have the spectral weapon. It's better to have the spectral weapon behind me, but I guess it's fine if it's in front of me. Because um, it can theoretically take damage, and then I take a little bit of damage. So it's, yeah, it's definitely better having it behind me. Because I think my defense is a lot better than the spectral weapon's defenses. Uh, hey, it's fine if it ends up in front of me. It's just so many creatures, I might just pull them back a little bit. Finally, Guru's actually moved into the corridor because he loves to summon all those little, uh... Well, this thing's called Sin Beast or something now. Am I finally out of Pamphlet Quarter Pounds? I probably have been for a little while. Yeah, so I'm finally actually gaining XP again. Um, oh, in fact, I must be been for a while because my pollen's on 25, and I think it was on like 20 when I, um. Like, got into Pamphlet Quarter Pounds. Oh, what do we say? God Wrath. It was like full of God Wrath, it wasn't just Pounds. Even if it doesn't really feel like a God Wrath when it's not actively doing that much. Um. Alright. I'm gonna pull these guys back just a little bit further into my little cave that I've got going here. Ooh. I think I'm fine, but I'm definitely taking a little bit of damage. Mm, no, I think I'm fine. Actually, no, I'm not fine. I might just throw a potion so I can get... Yeah, haste. Haste should make the difference. Yeah, I mean, that's, uh, my health is going up instead of down now, so it kind of did make the difference. Uh, the fiery hell are going to leave for a little while because, uh, the resist I'm actually missing is, like, fire resist or something. I think with this character, everything else is, like, maxed out. So I'll probably start with, I don't know, Tartarus or something. Shouldn't be too bad for this character. So can I just... Let's get somewhere that brings me a little bit closer to the statue before I get inside. Because otherwise it's just going to give us so many creatures between me and us and I'm not going to be able to get to it. Oh, Cosinus is also a good um, help for this character. Although I'd probably need to uh, get some flight going if I wanted to go into that. So I can dig, in, dig into walls. So I might do Tartarus and Cosinus, I reckon. Because uh, minus fortune sounds like it doesn't really matter when you're... Um, we can't drink potions anyway. Also, I might just quickly go turn on a light, because it's getting awfully dark where I am. <laughs> Alright, I'll be back soon. Right, I am back. Um, Tartarus it is, I guess. Ah, uh, because it starts to be sounds, but at least I'm a melee character. How are my skills going? Just getting the pull ups, which is what I wanted, because I was off to the... What was the title called? The Porcupine title or something. Oh, these guys are a bit of a threat because they hold down nature. They don't have much health, but they, um... I don't have a good way of closing the gap between me and them very fast, I don't think. Well, I mean, I just have the normal things that a heavy armor fighter can do. Actually, I'm worse than your average heavy armor character closing the gap because I'm also slow for being a naga. But I'm not too bad. Alright, let's go down. Whoa. Whoa, is that silence? Uh, sure is. Okay. I see. Um, I might start with a blink down to here. 
Yeah, I'll do a Gozag buff, see if I can get some haste. I can't get some haste, that's a shame. Come on, Gozag, don't disappoint, there's a haste. Well, there's haste and might on the first one I might grab. Um... Yeah, that was a, that's a fairly nasty ambush, just putting me in the middle of all these guys. At least I am immune to the torment, but I'm not immune to, like, all the damnation and stuff, so... Still pretty nasty. Alright, good. Uh, the blink scroll definitely put me in a way better position than where that uh, would have initially started me. I'm glad that the silent spade was like sliding to the side so that I actually could blink, otherwise I would have been having a really nasty time there, probably even like stand on to get to try and desperately bring people up or something. It would not have been a great thing at all. That's fine, I've still got 180 health. There we go. Just watching the spell I did. I think the spell did max to like about 90 damage or something. It's quite lethal sometimes if they, if they absolutely spam it. Should go for this one. That's what the spell did. Let's just check that. Yeah, it's uh, with slightly more than 90. It's 96 max damage. Was the spell dead? I'm definitely gonna get howled, right? No, apparently they did not want to howl me. Because uh, with my willpower strip like it is now, they totally can howl me if they wanted to. Uh... Oh, there we go. I'm a Naga Porcupine, which is apparently a title I hadn't had. What do I want? I can get, um, I can get armor skill to like, I mean, 20 is fine, I guess. Invocation is probably, uh, excessive because I'm a Gozak. Shape shifting's fine. Fighting and shields is probably the only thing they can get. Yeah, so I guess those three skills are probably the main ones I'll focus on. As is the last level, excellent. Oh, it's one of these massive round ones, well, square round, somewhere between those two things. That's why it's like a square with progressively more rounded corners the deeper you go. Oh, definitely go for the... Oh, I'm slowed right now. Um... I gotta call on the Gozak for a bribe here. Uh, not a bribe, a haste. Get rid of that slow. Because I had two guys next to me that could do the spell dead, and that's just too much. Um, at least I'm fast now, which is great. Alright. I don't have yards, so I can't strip off any sort of house I get. I just had to live with them. Uh, let's just get the theory petrify me. The thing this one can paralyze me as well. I don't like the the sound of that, but I don't think there's anything I can really do to reduce those chances or anything. Hey, Sally Roses! How's it been? Oh, I'm held, aren't I? Let me just retreat back a little bit, see what the hell pulls in. Oh, it didn't pull in too much, just, uh, just Reapers and Tormentors. I mean, for this character, Tormentors actually easy. Oh, that's a lot of guys. He's a faster bear, so I'm gonna buff up. Haste is, yeah, Haste is good. It's a cheap Haste as well, which is nice. I like 200 and something gold. Alright. Erich Giggle could be around here anywhere now. How's it crawling? It's going to be going fairly well today. I managed to finish off, uh, um, oh, there's some sort of octopodes I had going from before. Oh, my haste is getting low. I better buff that up again. Yeah, I don't want that one to wear off. Not when I'm fighting Erish Giggle, because I'll be in silence, so I can't, like, refresh it while I'm silenced. How's that spectral weapon up the front? I think it's stopping you getting me with the spell I'm dead. Alright, well, I want fighting. I want armor. Don't do dodging with this character, but I might just get, like, Ten dodging. I get some shields. Any exciting change of truck? There's a bunch of new spells if you haven't um 
have looked at it for a little while, so I haven't actually got to use some of them yet. There's like a Hellfire Mortar, a Horfrost Cannonade. Oh, what else is there? There's some sort of alchemy one that throws potions at people, but I haven't got that one going either. Um, there's Rhyme Blight, which I haven't got going either. <laughs> I need to do some mages, there's a ton of new spells. Oh, you heard of the spells? Yeah, I think that's, uh, that's the only change I can think of, is like the addition of a bunch of spells. Ooh. How much are you gonna teleport out of here? Probably fine? Oh. Because the teleport doesn't take me anywhere, but well, oh. Mm, I guess it doesn't. Nope, I gotta teleport again. That's not working. Actually. <laughs> I'm glad I don't like desperately need this teleport because it's really not happening. <laughs> Alright, well at least I'm at a choke point now. I should be able to get my health back. I try to think if there are any other changes, and I'm not thinking of anything like super obvious. I know that I think there have been some things that changed. I don't know. But no like major additions or anything apart from the spells. Hey, there we go, got my runes, I got 11 runes, because this is my first, um, hell rune. And I was gonna do, like, cold hell next, I was gonna try to get some flight beforehand, is this the entrance? I think the other is just a broken archway or something. I guess I just lose AC, that one, if I lost that one, I get some mid back. Um, but also, fire doesn't really matter, willpower probably doesn't matter, I mean, I probably can take that one off. Let's give it a try. I mean, either way, I'm losing AC. Yeah, I mean, the fire just doesn't really matter. Willpower's still, like, maxed out because I got ridiculous amounts of that. Oh. Oh, short generation paralysis, that's fine, because, um... Yeah, that was not really resistible. I think resistible electric helps, but it doesn't guarantee... ...success against it. Uh... How's your Dungeon Crawl be going, Sally Roses? Have you managed any characters and how long it's been since you were last stopped by one of my streams? Oh, time was it worse since you did 15 rune ghoul in the tournament. Almost died to all the dispel dead. Yeah, definitely with the... I mean, I guess for a ghoul, that actually would be one of the worst ones, wouldn't it? Um, actually, I would like this. Uh, actually, I can probably just keep it hitting this guy. <sighs> no, I don't. I don't trust these guys to be fine. I'm gonna gonna haste up. There we go. Got rid of the the summoner. Now I'm trying to think of what other ones would be bad for a ghoul, but like ghouls, I mean, they kind of get neck reputation already, except they can drink potions. Hmm. I don't know. Yeah, the spell dead could definitely be bad. Alright, let's go downstairs. Oh, I gotta try that teleport to see if I can get to the edge of the map or something, but I guess uh, not gonna happen. I might just, like, dig a little... a mini choke point, almost choke point area, so I can reduce how many guys are fighting me at once. Uh, do I have good enough defenses to survive, like, shard strikes? I mean, I definitely gotta be in the corridor, then I think I should be fine. My shield's nothing impressive, I've got almost 30 shield value, which is not that impressive. Um, but my 63 armor class is pretty impressive, so I don't know, maybe it's good enough. Alright, let's go downstairs again, whoa, it's a, it's a little Hellion Island, except... Uh... It's a version with, like, Tormentors and less Hellions. At least I'd put it, like, somewhat far away from me so I can still back away from it. Oh, what's the armor? Um, I think it's just Gold Dragon armor. But I've also got some plus four Barding. I don't know, actually, 
Could I enchant up? I don't think I can enchant up that cloak actually right now. But yeah, a lot of the armors actually give me regen, which is really nice. So, I have no complaints about the armor that I've got in this game. I don't even know if that guy can fly. I don't think it can. Oh. I don't want to get too close to the guys hitting with damnation. Um, although, at some stage, I gotta fight those guys, don't I, to get down the staircase, I think. Okay. I do have, like, the boomerang or whatever, right? I've got... Where is it? Aren't you... Th oh, well, that's a javelin. I don't think I've actually used my boomerangs before with this character, but I've got... Uh, did I get 16 skill? I feel like it did. I got, like, the skill required. I don't even matter if I leave those tormentors alive. They're not gonna do anything, because I'm gonna always be in the ledge form here, basically. Alright. Oh, what's this guy doing to me? Covering staircases? That's probably fine. This means I could, like, take a quick way down to avoid fighting it. Oh, I'm gonna get marked, don't I? But I made a better dig. Oh, okay. They'll avoid the mark, actually. That's kind of nice. Is health bombs also mean? They certainly can be. Some of the things they throw at you. Yeah, especially that, like, uh, like throwing torment and tormentors and guys of damnation can kill a lot of characters pretty quick. I've had some games before where I think I got shafted down, like, right next to that ball and died, trying to blink away. Um, yeah, I think I had a spring and had that to them and they got shafted down and they tried to blink away and still died. And that was really sad. I don't know, there wasn't a lot I could do apart from the blinking. But unfortunately one blinking wasn't like enough to get me out of sight, it would have had to do two or maybe three, because it was a little bit of an awkward angle I think to get out of sight. Oh, there's a lot of these guys. Um, I think it's fine, but I'm just definitely thinking about some buffs, but I don't know, I think this is fine. Because I know these guys have a, whatever it is, a water splash or whatever it's called that does quite a bit of damage. So if you get quite wounded, it can be a problem. Whoa. Stand back a bit so that statue is not pulling out creatures at the same time as I'm fighting here. Oh, Primal Wave, right, yeah, that, that would be it. Uh, I guess it sounds a bit more epic than Water Splash. It's called Primal Wave. It's basically the same thing. I just realized, like, I'm getting quite a few debuffs on enemies, which is kind of nice, because that's an advantage to be a lich form. I really love that, uh, that change. It kind of, uh, help, really does help make up a lot for the, the fact that changing forms got made really slow with the death form, like, actually getting some sort of... I mean, it already helps with melee characters, like, if you're an archer, you're not an archer, um, or oh, maybe an archer. Or a, uh, magic character, whatever, you've, um, kind of now got the disadvantage that the form's slower to swap. And you don't benefit from the, like, slowing enemies and stuff, but... I think for, uh, definitely for melee characters, it might actually be an improvement. Overall. Debuffs are so good, yeah, they certainly are. No, I reckon for any sort of melee character, that's a big improvement. Because what do you do? You weaken, you slow... I feel like there's another one. Draining, that's it. Slow, weak, and lightly drained, yeah. I mean, it doesn't always apply all the debuffs, but you usually manage to get at least a couple of debuffs on a guy. Presuming it's not immune to them or something. It's not as good for raw damage as Storm Bomb, but it makes more of a consideration with the other effects. Yeah, you can use it, like, with a shield and, uh, and armor and stuff, so, like, for a lot of characters, it's actually really, really good form at this point in the game. I mean, it's way too expensive to get online earlier.
Uh, I should buff up because the boss is here. Haste on the second one, haste on the third buff. Mine on the first one. I might just grab the haste. I reckon haste is enough. You don't really want to be meleeing and Teus, do you? I don't really have another option. Can I mirror him up at least? Yeah, I got him slowed. Ah, his mirror's gone. Uh, I might do another buff, see what I can get. So I can get Might on the first one. He will taste on the last one. Might do the Might. He's pretty much dead, but I don't want him to finish me off or something. I've actually been kind of disappointed with the um, Storm form recently with his damage. I don't know, I feel like he got a little over nerfed. Like, I used to use it quite a lot, but now I just don't really much. Like, my last Octopod didn't end up with Storm Form, they ended up with Sanji Form. Like, going through Extended, so... And they had Storm Form as well. So, I don't know. If, if I how rare it is, it feels kind of disappointing. Alright, well, I got my rune. I don't need to be in here anymore. I might as well grab the money. See, I got money is actually worth stuff for this character, because I'm a Go Zag. So, I got the uh, Fiery Hell, I've got the Iron Seed of Dis, I've got the Tomb of Ancients. Um... The fiery one's going to be a little bit difficult, but I guess I should go do it. Do I need the flight? I mean, probably not. I can swap it if I need it. Or drink a potion. Good. I'm missing over this corrosion, but that's probably fine. I reckon this is going to be definitely on the harder side of the hells for this character. Probably not as bad as the Iron Seed of Dis, but probably worse than some of the previous hells I've been doing here. Oh, I need to be just a little bit closer to hit these guys with my ball up. It's kind of funny how they stood on the one spot I could hit. They just wanted to be as close to me as possible, but it didn't help them out. It was probably the worst thing they could have done. If they had to stay back, but they would have at least been able to damage me at range. Oh, do you think two is easier with death form? Oh, actually, maybe. I was gonna wait for till fairly late for two because I want to bribe it. Um, I want to see how much money I've got left to bribe it because I probably won't be able to like fully bribe it. I reckon, but I mean, probably wouldn't be too bad. Uh, that's not a bad teleport. Yeah, I'll take one of those. It got me in a good spot to dig into the wall, so. Can't complain there. Oh, the figurine is oh, the figurine is nice for not dying, isn't it? I don't know. What do I want to do to him? Um, because I have had to pop that before, like the Iron City of Dis and stuff. I was worried about like getting through all my money, but it might be all right. Oh, even more guys, of course. That's there's the way down. So I've got level three of Gehenna. Go down to level four. Um, whoa, actually, that's not a good idea. Let's just back up a little. So my region is actually be keeping up with that damage that those guys are doing, so it's not too bad. I literally can't go anywhere with that lava. It's kind of funny. All right. Alright, well, level 5, so I got level 6, and so I got level 7 to go after this one. I feel like I haven't been sharpened too much in health recently, because I... I mean, the health usually sharpened you quite a bit, right? Like, usually it's, uh... I don't know, just on a one sharp for branch, basically. Uh, well, that's lava, okay. The good thing I don't need too much more digging, because there's not many more hells that can really be affected by digging. Because I do seem to be running out quite quickly. Um, 
Oh, I'm sure they'll move up to me eventually. There we go. Gotta be a bit careful with the, this hell because a lot of the guys here can kind like, of smite target or range sort of target you. Uh, like the salamander tyrants and stuff. So you don't want too many of them inside at once, otherwise they can absolutely blow you up. In fact, that'd be a problem actually with just the salamander tyrants. Like an individual salamander tyrant is not very tough at all. Um, it's a uh, tough sort of thing from a lab hunch. But once they just all gather up and start smiting you at once, it can definitely add up the damage. Alright, well, I guess that level could basically be skipped. Uh... Is it gonna run away or is it... Mm, I guess so. I kinda wonder if like, everyone's gonna stay there because it, it might... I don't think it's got anything that can affect me though, right? I guess it will run. See, it comes back like really quick, um, for whatever reason. I can't really, like, push it up to fly across there. I mean, I could swap in a ring, I guess. I don't know, I might just go around the long way. How oh, far that takes me. Maybe I should have just flown across. You know what? I go back to here, I'm not going to fly across here. <laughs> Maybe I should go the other way to get to the front entrance. Because it's probably like directly opposite from where the walking path is. Actually, I have no idea where the walking path is. But I reckon this would probably want to try and maximize how much of the level you ran through. I should probably blow this guy up. So it's not following me around anymore waiting for a bad time to blow me up. I don't think I need the flight anymore because I kind of got away from the edge of the map. Um, gotta watch out for where the boss is because I want to actually use my real potions to try and buff up instead of relying on my uh, god abilities just to try and save a little bit of money. Although I think my money's going up through here, which is kind of nice. Saves a bit for the last uh, two areas, the uh, Iron City of Dis and the Two of Ancients, because they're going to be some of the tough ones, I reckon. This is still fine. Wait. This is just the treasure room, right? I don't think it's like the boss's treasure room or something. No, it's just random treasure. Okay, oh, it's so much for using potions. I'm gonna have to, uh, let's see, I'm gonna have to use god ones here. So I've got haste on the first one, haste on the last one. Might on the second one. I'll do the first haste. Or oh, do you like uh, how Gozag makes these random uh, extended gold runes matter? Yeah, because they usually don't matter at all. Like, usually have so much money. Alright, that's my um, might on the last one. Uh... Got the mirror. Oh, he's gonna die. I was gonna pull it back with a grab and tambourine, but it's not needed. Hey, there we go. All right. Uh... Yeah, because the actual amount of gold notes uh, does add up in the end, I guess, especially when you're actually using it. Like, it might be enough to get you another buff or two. Those rings are probably fine. If not wearing the resist corrosion, which I probably should be in the Iron City of Dust. I might go to the Iron City of Dust next and yeah, is that my way? No. I don't need the resist corrosion, do I? I need the cloak. That's the that's one to give me the <laughs> resist corrosion instead of the ring. That'd be the sensible one to go with, because that just loses me a little bit of fire resist, which doesn't really matter. I've probably got like magic mapping I can just throw at this level if I really wanted to. 
Might just do the first level without the magic map. You can throw some more of the later levels. I don't think I had a huge number. No, we got three revelations. I could keep a couple of those for two, even. Like, mm, I don't know. Yeah, I just don't have a huge number. Oh, yeah, there's a shaft. That's what I was expecting. Well, I was expecting of all my cows. Um, you know what? I might magic map this one, try to find the way down. Like this one specifically, because I got chopped on it. Because finding a way down is like pretty much as good as finding a way up in terms of actually escaping. Because if you go down, it always puts you in an up staircase. I mean, it's not quite as good. It takes like an extra turn or something. Um, it's almost there. What's this guy? These are good at hitting me, right? 27% chance. At least I got a bit of armor class to kind of uh, soften their blows. In fact, I got, what, 73? No, 63 armor classes. It's not quite as much as it was before I went in here. I think I was on 71 or something, that would make sense given my 8 corrosion. Whew. I think this is fine. I just need, uh, not that. Oh, I don't really need a brilliance. Oh well. I want a, I want like a might, and I want a haste. I definitely want a haste, because okay, that's a might. It's not quite working as well as I'd like. Never mind. Do I have a summoning scroll? Let me just pop one of those, that'll do the trick. And I might try to get a haste anyway. There we go. Yeah, I mean, some of these rolls are like really powerful in the Iron City of Dust because they always pull in such powerful creatures. Uh, oh, not as good for escaping when it puts you next to an Iron Giant and, and two Iron Golems, though. Yeah, that's true. And especially if the Iron Giant decides, oh, hey, let me pull you off the staircase. Actually, they throw things at you, they do pull you off the staircase as well, right? So I guess not quite as good. How's that dodging going? I got to 10, it didn't make much difference. Got to be like three evasion or something. Yeah, I don't think it would make much difference. I gotta get things maybe thrown next to me. Yeah, there we go. I don't know the amount of time before that guy ended up next to me. This character's not quite as good as their damage as my last character, so I'm noticing that when I'm killing the, um,. I golems that they take a bit more tabbing. Wow. Um, is that fine with the health? I think it's... No, it's not. I got a... It's expensive might, but I'm gonna do it. I wanna haste. Um... I mean, maybe this is fine. I didn't get a haste yet, but... I might try another buff, see what we can get. There we go, haste and heal wounds, that doesn't sound too bad. Um, can I just, like, I can't random blink, can I? Because that would be really useful right now. I might have to pull some of these guys back with, like, a grab a tambourine, I reckon. Yeah. I, mean, I should be able to get back some health now. I'm in this corridor, right? Yeah, I think my health is staying fairly steady. 150, that sounds, hmm, yeah, it's staying steady. 140, okay. It's over 100, I think that's fine. It's one golem at the end, shouldn't do too much. Ah, I probably need more heal healing, actually. Because there's more guys to come along. Get a... Uh, Got the haste already, but I can get a haste heal wound, so that'll probably do the trick. Oh, that was reasonably expensive getting ambushed on all sides and uh yeah, but I got through it. Oh Man, what do I do against these guys? They're just hitting me with way too much damnation. Um, pull the bag with a grab tambourine, but I'm not sure that's the most useful. Get them outside, I'll put on a buff. Uh, haste is fine. Yeah. I guess a might as well. Might on the second one. 
Yeah, okay, that's probably a good idea. I got over a hundred health, it shouldn't be able to one hit me or anything. I need my, there we go, Spectral Wave behind me, otherwise, because uh, the Spectral Wave doesn't have quite as good a defense as me, so the Eye Golem is actually able to hit it. It's a delicious Goes Egg Potion, this certainly is, Chadley Wick, this character's living off those Goes Egg Potions. Oh, marked. I'm gonna Revelations, let's see what I've got. Um, okay. I'm gonna live in this corridor for a little while, I think. Man, too much damnation. I gotta haste up again. I mean, maybe not, but I didn't know what was gonna come along because I was marked. Alright, I can get to the final level of this here. But yeah, this is definitely the one of the few hells where I'm losing money. Oh, I know this um, entrance here. It's really funny when you, like, magic map it and you can see, like, all the creatures on all four sort of areas here. Or four quadrants. Because it's actually not too bad, but like, it looks like a lot when you magic map, because you can see all of them. What was the health floor with three enemies? <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, no, I did get uh, some, you do get some, get some really empty health floors for some reason. Uh, I won't magic map this one, I'll just kind of make a guess at where the boss is, I think, and head on in. Because I'm down to like the one magic mapping, and I want, might want to use that on tomb three. Who knows? I don't know. It's not that important to use it here. We don't know if will get to where I want to go slightly quicker, but not that much quicker. Am I the same speed as I Golem? Because I know I'm really slow at moving. It might actually be the same speed as well, which would be funny. Uh, I still haven't figured out exactly what sort of floor I've got here. That's gonna hit me with damnation, unfortunately. Oh, hey, seven to hell. If there's a seven to hell, I should probably put on the haste again. There's a uh, taste and might, or just haste? Taste and might, maybe. I don't know if I need quite that much, but I will put it on. Ah, oh, silver dragon got me. Whoa, that's a lot of stuff. Oh, uh, can these guys quicksilver as well? They can. That's way too many guys that can quicksilver there. That's a problem. I tried the summoning, but it's not... Oh, I didn't get a lot of stuff out. I do a buff, but it's probably just going to get quicksilvered up. Um... Yeah, these got healing now then, but I got the last one with the haste. I'm going to throw it a teleport, but... I don't know if this is going to get me anywhere. Oh, I got quicksilvered by the dragon itself. Come on. There we go. Maybe. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Um... Really questionable. I'm going to do a butterflies, but I don't know if I can teleport out because there's another like Quicksilver guy here. Uh huh. Maybe this way everyone would have Quicksilver guys. At least that's my hope. Summon dragons, so it must be fairly close to where that dragon was, but at least I got my health back now. Uh, how do you have butterflies and summoning? I started as a chaos knight. I think I started with one butterflies. I don't think it's um yeah. So if you if your background gives you one, you can technically start with that. I think. Oh, what do you want the chaos knight? Yeah, I think the chaos knight started with the butterflies. Um, pretty sure. So that's gonna be the only butterflies this character ever gets to use. But hey. Oh, it's something quick to a dragon. Come on, really? These don't actually help that much. I'm still gonna try for the buffs. Haste doesn't sound too bad.
Okay, well, where's my Phantom Mirror? Phantom Mirror of the Dragon. Or Servant or whatever it is, I guess it's basically a dragon. Uh... Or should have used butterflies on the exit gate with the 15 runes just to show off or something? <laughs> totally could have. Oh, uh, where's it hiding? Try to like tag through the summons and it's not working massively well. Okay, in fact, it might even be gaining back health, which would not be a good thing. I think I got to buff up, but uh, I don't know how long it will last. It's definitely, oh, the Quicksilver Dragon moved next to me, got rid of it immediately. God, every time I buff up, things just, like, get rid of it immediately, don't they? Um... Can I just... Cr if, do I crush myself with a Gravitambrine? I hope not. I don't think so. Okay, that's better. I finally can actually attack the guy. Oh, thank goodness. There are a lot of guys here. I'm a bit worried about how many of these guys there are. I think I might be able to teleport out, though, now. Huh? Uh, I'm gonna try another teleport. It's not terrible. <sighs> not perfect, though. Um. Oh, I think it's gonna go for, like, a blinking down here. Um, oh. Right, now I should just be able to buff. But this level's been absolutely, absolutely horrible. No EV makes me still brutal, yeah, because I had to every single time, basically. Uh, and this character relies heavily on buffing up as well, like some characters don't. Also, I think I'm in the boss chamber right now. Maybe, maybe not. Oh. Huh. We'll see. Why not? I guess not. Yeah, this sort of might look vaguely like it, but I guess not. Alright, hopefully there's not too many more creatures I have to deal with. Um... That's the spot where I fought, like, the Serpent of Hell. I might see if I can get some of my money back here. Probably won't get too much of it back. Still under 5,000 gold. Uh, it's a good thing I'm not going for Gozag title. Although, to be fair, I think most of the Gozag title titles I've got left to go are, like, uh, once I'm basically nobody. Because <laughs> I got all the high money ones, apart from the high mummy... High money mummy one. <laughs> Alright. Buff up with a, well, haste is exactly what I want. I might just grab that one. Did my mirror recharge? No, but my second spine is dead. That's probably not that useful. I think leaving that juggernaut next to me is the right thing to do. Because it fills in the space. Um, Yeah, it's better than having like a health sentinel. I oh, was speaking of a health sentinel. It's gonna all try to stab through someone, but only have like 50% chance. Okay. Uh, can I just throw like a little bit of acid or something? No, that didn't do that much. Um. So funny how this enemy from depths is much more dangerous than the iron gold. It certainly is kind of funny, but hey. Ooh, I can move up again. I think I said I had to blink back or something. I was a bit worried about my health, but I had just hit with a couple more damnation shots. I probably would have had to blink back. But anyway, I should be able to go grab my rune now. A little manual dodging, last minute manual dodging. But I already determined that the manual dodging did basically nothing. Uh, probably because I already got like 16 decks and really heavy armor and all that sort of stuff. In fact, my strength is nothing special in this character. Anyway, let's get out of here. No point in sticking around. 
Whoa, the small guy's here. I think I, like, I can just retreat back to where I was before, rest up, but no, those are uh, endless guys in there, apparently. Excellent, out of there. So I got, uh, got the um, tomb to go. I got 5,000 money to get through the tomb, so I won't be able to bribe it more than once. Um, and then the rest will be buffs, I guess. Hopefully that's fine. Oh. Go to tomb, where am I going? Tabs two? Do the way. Oh, I guess that was actually heading to the tomb. It's Barnes again. This is like the third time I've seen him. I don't think I've seen him that many times this time round. Alright, well, the first level shouldn't be too bad with the, um, ledge form on it. Usually isn't. You have to be a bit careful the guys are like, the spell are dead, though, but, yeah, apart from that, it shouldn't be too bad. Does this guy have to spell dead as well? He does have to spell dead as well. He can hit for quite a bit of damage with it as well. Ah, so much for trying to pull it around the corner. Um. I can just try and fight through this guy. It's probably the right thing to do. Does it ban you? I think every time it dies, it leaves like a stamper pie of gold. I mean, it doesn't really matter, it's not like I'm finding enough bad use for that really to uh, add up to anything, but it's just kind of interesting that they give you the gold twice. I wonder, I mean, I guess Boris does as well, every time he dies, he gives you some gold. Alright. Probably Natasha, but like, how many characters are going to be fighting Natasha when they've already got Gozag as a god? Probably not a lot of characters unless they got off some Faded on or something. Alright, well, we've got the staircase down. I should just take it, but I should buff up before I take it, obviously. As I got the taste that I've got, I guess I'll do a might because I don't exactly have anything else to um, target enemies with. Uh, did I find another? Didn't find another revelation. Alright, I see. Actually, I should pop the revelation on this level. Which reveals that I went in the wrong way. Although I could probably just fight everything on this level. Hopefully just fight everything on this level. Oh, there's more stuff down there. I see. I'm no longer hasted. I'm actually quite slow, but that's probably fine. I can't get another creature. I was hoping I could get another creature to like move up to me, but it just wasn't working, so guess not. Um I mean same buffs as last time, same thing as last time, just go down. See if I can do some damage before I have to run away, basically. What do I even have in the way of like AOE things? I mean I can emulate things, right? But I don't know if I have much else. And my idea was to bribe things. I mean, maybe I can emulate and then bribe things because it probably doesn't work so well the other order. Although, actually, I can't bribe something once I've already seen it, right? So maybe we should just try and bribe the lower levels. I don't have enough money to, like, completely bribe it, I don't think. I think that usually takes around 10,000 gold instead of 5,000 gold. Hey, was that useful? Oh, that teleport trap put me in perfect spot. It put me in the like the side of one of you with the staircases that I would have had to read my own teleport scrolls to get into otherwise. That I don't think I've had that happen before. That's really funny. A helpful teleport trap in the tomb. It's a sorceress benevolence. It certainly is a sorceress benevolence this time round. Alright, well, I gotta buff up and go down. Um, 
I will start the bribe now, but I'm only going to do one of those. Go to bribe tomb, yes. Haste, might, fall back on it, let's go down. I don't have any revelations because, um, yeah, well, this guy's going to turn. Uh, oh. I think I can safely emulate these guys. None of them are my friends, right? The bad news are going to survive because I'm like immune to the fire damage. Alright, now I've started to finally get some guys joining my side, I think. Uh, it's kind of trying to hold the line here. I could buff myself up a bit more. Wouldn't necessarily be a bad idea, but I don't seem to be doing a terrible job of just holding the line there. Let's go see if I can grab my ziggurat. At the very least, I can get some more money, right? Um, no, I'm out of bribe, but this guy is still a friend, I guess. Uh, all right, there's my ziggurat. I need scarf resistance anymore, that's kind of silly. Just a ring of decks, okay, that's probably not that useful. A scarab up bribe boy, I think so, I don't think they're smart enough. Oh, there's a revelation scroll. I mean, do I ever need that? Oh, sure, I'll just read it, whatever. Yeah, I don't think they're, don't think they're like, uh, smart enough or something to be bribed. Um, I think it works better on the intelligent things. Like the mummies and orbs of fire and stuff. It also works better on like higher hit dice things I think as well. Alright, well let's get out of here. No point in being in here anymore. I got my rune right, I'm pretty sure. Better go 15 runes, so let's just go to Zot 5, which I had cleared out, right? Um, Yeah, I've still got 6,000 money for the orb run, so that's tons. That was easy enough, yeah, I just kind of got to a choke point and just uh, bribed them and they just killed everything that didn't accept the bribe. I reckon it would be way harder without the bribe though to distract half the creatures that were next to me. Well, not just distract them, but like actually put them on my side. Oh, hey, Pandemonium Blood. I can probably kill it, let's see. Malay, it's got a little bit of evasion. Yeah, it's pretty weak. Oh, what about this one? Cooled adaptation. Hmm. It's probably doable to start a teleport just in case. Oh, yeah, it's dead already. All right. Uh, I'm trying to move, but I just keep getting distracted by creatures. Okay, where's the staircase? That's all the way over there. I'm gonna just keep moving. These guys will catch up to me as I move. I think it's probably the best way to do this. There we go. Um, got enough for another bribe? I don't think you can bribe with the old run, right? Oh, it does slap me. I've tried that before and I've had to, like, not do anything, but I bribed with the old run. So I'm not entirely sure. Let's take the escape hatch up. Um, like, if you started Zod, Zod's bribed already, then that uh, seems fine. Or you can bribe the old run. I mean, I'll give it a try, see what happens. Oh yeah, there's a bribe going. And that guy even accepted it. Okay, it is working. Then why didn't it work before when I tried bribing the old run? I mean, this is working really well. Like, half these guys are just accepting the bribe. Oh, if the branch is bribed, all run spawns are affected. Yup, yeah, like this guy and stuff. Uh, I don't know and understand why it didn't work when I tried doing this before, because I have tried this before. Anyway, but the exit, let's get out of here. No, that made the all run too bit easy, just bribing everyone. <laughs> That's a good run. I mean, I had good armor. That willpower, regen, see invisible, minus it, barding, barding of the garden. That was amazing. That really helped a lot. Same with the gloves to resist electric, regen, two tanks, and they plus two gloves. They helped a lot. Yeah, and everything else was pretty average. Although, I guess the spectral uh, demon tribe wasn't bad either. 
I'm so glad I got a uh, death talisman. but that would be so much harder without that one. But that was a good game. Oh, just over four hours? It was a pretty speedy game. I guess, um, yeah, I don't know why that was so speedy, but it was. I guess I was just playing reasonably fast.